Oh my god, Riddles, hi. Riddles! Riddles, meow! Meow. 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 Thank you for catching up. It was very important that you did, as you saw. Yes, we were, we were sitting here like, oh no, Riddles missed the whole thing! <laughs> Oh, so I noticed that we had some, like, mic cut off at the end of the last episode. Um, I don't know if that happened for the whole episode. But the good news was you couldn't hear as much of the game coming from our speakers, but you couldn't hear as much of our voice acting. So I'm trying to kind of get the... I'm trying to get everything kind of right. Um, like, the levels better. But you're probably going to hear more from the... Um, the computer, I managed to get my mic further away by moving the cord. Um, further away from the computer, rather, so hopefully that it's not as loud. Um, sorry, let me let me let you see the beautiful artwork. Um, also, just a forewarning. Uh, my throat hurts a lot. <laughs> because of how much screaming we did last night. And I didn't sleep. And yeah, my baby didn't sleep Having because slept. because of the power of suspense and matcha <laughs> smoothies. Um, possibly steroids. Possibly steroids. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about our boyfriend? Let's talk about Katana boyfriend. Okay, so here's the thing. You see, all right. So he's supposedly dead, right? But here's the thing: this entire quest is about finding out what Cosmo wanted us to do. Mm -hmm. Like, we are gonna culminate in. The quest that he has sent us on, Cosima's adventure. Not to mention, look at how big he is on the picture associated with the cover of the game. It's true. He's very big. He's he's as big as Susato. Okay, he's either alive or the last case is going to be a ton about him. There's just no freaking way. He's in the merchandise. Yeah, I I have I have a sneaking suspicion that either that like there's no way he he can't be alive or. He has to be extremely important for reasons I actually can't disclose because it's super minor, but it's 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 minor enough that most people wouldn't think it's spoilers, but it's it's um big enough that my sweetie might. Yes. <laughs> so Grr. the, the he's he's got to he's got to either be alive or like pivotal. In either this case or in the next. Um, and Susato was summoned alone? Yeah, she was summoned alone by Strongheart. Don't like that at all. Oh god, if, guy's if they're trying if he's alive and they're trying to keep that from Ryanosuke, I'm gonna be mega pissed. You know, I wonder how many of our playing cards like have actually been played already. <laughs> Did we get any of these things? I actually haven't revealed the playing cards. Oh, should we? So let's let's talk about this because we're going to talk about this now because it's starting to get really interesting. Um, what my sweetie and I did like like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. roundabout, um, is we we wrote down on um, on like note cards predictions for the final case and and just like va very vague predictions like um like Kazuma's alive mm -hmm. um uh um Inspector Hosanaga's back yep um we have to defend Van Zeke's like things yes. like that <laughs> and so we we wrote down like dozens of these predictions mm -hmm. on on uh, note cards cut them up um, shuffled them into each other and kind of like drew three or you know you know three about three at a time, and like any of these that you put together, you could probably come up with an interesting Ace Attorney totally. case. It's great. And so like I want to reveal like the playing card, basically a, a playing card game mm -hmm. of like putting together a final case for the Great Ace Attorney. Um, and I took a bunch of pictures of like hilarious possibilities that we came up by like drawing these cards at random they were great it, it was really hilarious it was an emotional ride too it really was because some of them are like oh my god th if this happened this would be this would emotionally break me devastating <laughs> some of them are really bad because like one of the cards that i put down was like here's my worst galaxy brain idea what if kazuma's alive and the antagonist that was the worst. That was the worst one. <laughs> Cosima, you betrayed us. Right. 
He would never do that, just to be clear. Right, yeah, I'm I'm 100% sure that he's that's not what it is, but man, that would emotionally break me. And the, it wouldn't be outside of the Ace Attorney, like, thing to make that, yeah. like, or at least to, to feign that. Ace Attorney. Like, he's... He's kind of the antagonist, but he's really trying to go, yeah, <laughs> we will stop at this galaxy for an yeah. idea. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, so we, we, we came up with a, with a bunch of really fun, interesting They're great. Um, theories on what could happen. and um, We're going to have fun drawing those. Exactly. So what we're going to do is at the end of this game, we're going to pull out the cards that were correct. <laughs> and we're going to take a picture. But I'm also, I'll also like... Like later, later on um, this evening, I'll probably post a couple of the more interesting, um, like cases we pulled out of the deck. We could do a random draw. Um, and what we can do is also, if you come up with things that we can put on these cards, you sh you should suggest some, and we'll we'll put them in the in the card deck, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what actually comes true. Maybe we could do a a little like when we get to a good pausing point here. We could maybe do a little draw and yeah. solicit some additional cards. Sure, sure, sure. Um, because, yeah, like, d <sighs> some of the stuff was was made under the assumption that Herlock is still going to be alive. Yeah, so <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we're going to have to see. A lot of the cards, like, if you lay them out, kind of read like Ace Attorney Bingo. Seriously. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, let's go on. Okay, here we go. Here I apologize if I... Go. If I cough or drink a lot, because again, my, my throat is extremely shot. <clears throat> okay. Herlock. Oh Sorry. god. Uh, 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 I'll be alright, Mr. Narahodo. After them, go! Uh, behind that door in the storm, hurry! Oh yeah, that's right. They're they're both. Is it? Is it? It's Gina. Go. Oh, we are gonna be defending her. Probably. She's got a gun in her She's hand. She's got the Mother gun in her fucker. hand. She's got the gun in her hand. God damn it! From that moment, Windebank's pawnbrokery became a crime scene. We called a it combination pawnbroker and crime, crime scene. scene. I'm glad you clipped that because it's it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it became very serious and super true. Everything that followed happened in a whirlwind of activity. <sighs> Hold on, sorry. Hold on. Okay. <sighs> the arrival of the police, the preliminary investigation of the scene and the questioning. We're just going to gloss over the investigation of the crime scene. <laughs> Not like we would ever want to investigate a crime scene. <laughs> oh boy, Riddles. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. It was just before dawn before I was allowed back to my lodgings at 221B. Oh boy. What about Hurley? So he didn't sleep either. Yeah. And Susato, what about Susato? Susato probably took Herlock to the hospital, I hope. Yeah. Oh, oh. there's Iris. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Iris. She slept through the whole thing. Oh boy. Telegram came, but all it said was, wait at home. Um, oh, God. Iris. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. We asked one of the policemen to have it sent. It was simply impossible to come back. When I woke up, I was all alone. Hallie and Ginny were gone. Everyone was gone. Like my daddy, who I never met. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine, too. What happened, Luna? Poor, poor Iris. She's trembling. She's obviously trying very hard not to let herself get too worried. No. I'll explain everything that I know. Oh, God. <laughs> he looks like her. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wolfie. Hi. <laughs> Glad you made it. Something awful has happened, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, God. Oh, Something no. awful. Uh, 
let's uh, ex- let's examine. <laughs> yeah, let's just you know look at the the shovel over there. Um, and no. Let's. Uh, uh. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Iris, but Mr. Windebank is dead. What? You think I care about the lobster man? <laughs> What about my not daddy daddy? <laughs> uh, he was shot. We discovered in the early we discovered it in the early uh, early hours of the morning. Oh, yes, I had a feeling that he got shot. What? I had a feeling he got murdered. You you did? I have a spidey sense for murders. I saw all those police carriages pulling up outside his shop. Oh, Ziva's here. Hi, Ziva. Hi, Ziva. I love you, Ziva. <laughs> so I knew something must have happened there. When we enter Window Banks in the small hours, we disturbed a gang of two thugs. Two thugs? We haven't even seen the people. That's an interesting description. They ran out onto the street and I chased after them, but they got away. So... It was one of them who shot Mr. Old Window Lobster Bank, I suppose. I don't know, but that's not what the police believe at the moment. Why not? They've arrested someone else as the prime suspect, you see. Probably dun, Gina. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, it's Gina. <laughs> it's Gina. Surprising absolutely no one. Ginny? Because she was lying on the ground in the storeroom holding a gun. Because she is friends with the protagonist. Well, the thing is... Oh. No! G wouldn't do something like that! I know, I know! None of us think she did it! Then why have they arrested her? I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. Oh... Sholmes! Let's talk about Sholmes. So where's Hurley, then? Is he still there investigating the scene of the crime? Uh, sure. He really ought to have some breakfast. It's not good for him to miss meals. I don't want you to worry, Iris, but I have some news about Mr. Sholmes. What's your fucking news? Exclamation mark? He... He was taken to the hospital this morning. Mr. Sholmes! <laughs> what? Well, um... When we entered Windebanks, a gun was fired and he took a bullet. <sighs> Hanny was shot? No. No. It's alright. His life isn't in danger. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Where is he? Which hospital? He he's at uh, Saint Sinners. It's <laughs> Saint Sinners. Saint Sinners. At least it isn't the the Hopi Clinic. What's that the, called? The Hadi Clinic. The Hadi, the Hadi, Hadi Clinic. clinic. This is a terrible yeah. Hadi Clinic. Don't go there. Fucking terrible. Oh boy. They're Saint tending Sinners. to him there. I'm, I must see him at once. I'm sorry, Iris, but you can't. Why not? That's not fair. I'm a family member. I should be allowed. No, I mean, no one can see him at the moment. <gasps> He's not allowed any visitors. They're preparing to operate, you see. Are they going to take the bullet out? Yeah. Ho, oh, oh. ho. To operate? Oh, poor Hurley. Injured oh. Jones! <laughs> Injured Jones! It was the two thugs that were in Mr. Windebank's shop. They shot Mr. Sholmes when we disturbed them, you see. It was pitch black inside the shop at the time. My mind went totally blank, I'm afraid. I I just froze. After them! Go! Go now and leave me! After that, I ran out onto the street, but... Well, they were long gone. I shouldn't have hesitated. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. I let them get away. I think that's a very good thing. Sorry? Well, if you'd seen which way they went and chased after them, you 
might have been shot as well. You know? Why, why, are you, why do you say they're doing Iris wrong? <laughs> Exclamation mark. On top of everything else, I, I couldn't pair that. Oh, it's so I'll be your daddy too, Iris. I love you. <laughs> oh, Iris. Oh. oh, God, this is just like, okay, this is just a fuck. This is fucked up right now. Sholmes is in the hospital about to get operated on. Gina's been arrested and we're going to have to defend her. And Susanto has been summoned on her own to see Strongheart. God. The, Everything's going wrong. The web of of everything. Isn't she, like, isn't she supposed, isn't she due there, like, today? She's due there, like, now. Like, it's six in the morning. Yeah, she's Susanto, due there, like, Susanto's hour. situation, I think she, yeah, she should be here, like, right now. Yeah. Like, she must be on the way. Where's Susie, you know? She's still at the police station. Oh. Why? I expect she's still being questioned. The police said they wouldn't be finished for a while. Why the fuck are they questioning her for so long? Right? I don't like this. Why aren't you there then? Well, I didn't get a good look at the criminals anyway. They weren't questioning me for long. And Miss Usata said, stay behind at the scene to tend to Mr. Sholm so they didn't get started until later. Ah, uh, I see. Besides... One of us had to come back to be with Iris. Aww. Being a good pseudo-daddy right now. Uh, I'm glad Inspector Gregson agreed to me leaving early. You should have let me know, and I would have come to the station. Uh. Oh, boy. I don't understand why they arrested Ginny. It's not fair. What about the two thugs that were at the scene? Why aren't they the prime suspects? After all... They shot Hurley dead, didn't they? He's not. Uh, he's not dead. He's not. He's not dead. No, I mean, Mr. Sholmes isn't dead, Iris. Uh, this is also horrible. The thing is, Mr. Windebank was found on the floor in the storeroom where he keeps all his deposited articles, like himself. And the storeroom door was locked from the inside. What? What? The storeroom door was locked from the inside. Yeah. Theme. Yeah. Theme. Theme. I mean, you could see it in the cutscene when we were like, kick down the door! Kick down the door, Nirinosuke! It's locked from the inside. It was locked from the inside. Familiar? But there was like a, there was like a, um, like a, a, fl a, a, a thing you could open. Oh, so if you had like thing? a... You could get out. I mean, no, you no, no, get no, in. no, 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 uh, no. There was, um... Like the like the eye hole uh -huh. where he oh, looked yeah. in to see the two of them, that means you could put something in there mm. to possibly like because mm. you know how I don't know how familiar you would be with this because you don't have a car, but um well you've never really driven is is like some one of the methods to like unlock a car is to like and they use this usually for either for carjacking oh, or for to, like, just like, to get into into something in the window and then you can get the thing down yeah and, like if yeah. you if you like if you like. Un, un like screw a wire hanger right, and you can and just kind of stick it, it in through the window i do believe i've had to break into a car that way once yeah so that's happened a few times probably because my mom would always lock her keys in the car yeah 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 so um <clears throat> anyway <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I, I imagine that that could have happened, but I doubt that they're going to go that far. Yeah. But he wasn't alone in there. Gina was found next to him on the floor as well. Oh, no. And according to the detectives who investigated afterwards... Don't tell me. There's no one else in the room. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yay, Siva, you're back! Siva. How did you know? It's the only explanation. Also, she was holding a gun, but she that... She was holding a gun. That could be, like, somebody, could somebody like, put a gun in her hands. Because she was also unconscious. So it's like, I, I just don't understand how you could expect somebody is a killer if they're passed out in the room with the person. Like... Yeah. Like, what do you think happened? That they shot the person and then fainted at the sight of blood? Oh. Like... 
It's pretty ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah, the only explanation indeed. What do you mean by that, Nuno? Well? Uh, what can I say? Damned if I agree and damned if I don't. Oh boy. I'm afraid I'll need to go out again now, Iris. There's not much I can do at the moment. But I can at least try to find out how Mr. Shubbs and Gina are getting on. Yes. I want to go too. Take me with you, Nuno! Exclamation mark. I can't stand just sitting around here waiting. I'm not sure how I feel about taking a ten-year-old child to the scene of a murder. I'm not sure how I feel about you leaving a ten-year-old child. It's okay. Right you're. Now. It's okay. Your 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 progeny, Phoenix Wright, right. takes an eight-year-old to a murder. He's true. Lots of times. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't want to leave here all alone either. All right then, Iris. Perhaps you can help me. Yes, I'd love to. Give me something to do to take my mind off this horror. Jane is at the prison. Mr. Sholmes is probably at his hospital bed. So, split it up. I fucking hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how he's like, yeah, pro probably. And don't forget we have to visit the crime scene. We need to conduct a thorough investigation. Ah, I can see you're ready for action. Imagine Iris would appreciate going to the hospital sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna go to the hospital first, obviously. Hospital. 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 Shows. 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 What? What an awful hospital. Look at that sad place. Nice furniture, though. Honey. <gasps> You son of a bitch. He's not here. No. That's strange. Is it, though? The nurse definitely said he was in the bed by the window, didn't she? He's... Just, just look... He's over there. He's in, up in a corner. He's under the bed. I know it probably happened. Helly was being a big baby, and the bullet wound wasn't that bad after all, so he's been sent home. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Baby or not... There's no question that it was fairly a fairly serious injury that Mr. Sholmes suffered. No. Don't want serious. Oh. Oh, boy. Hello, hello. What are we here? <laughs> oh, it's the fucking Bobby. This water's off limits. No visiting. So what are you off doing here, Anne? Well, I I'll have you... No, well, Hattie's next of kin. God, Iris, jeez. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not dead. I'm his husband, and this is his daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, begging your party then, ma'am, sir. A little lady, curious east of gentlemen. The great Mr. Salvador is a mysterious <laughs> family, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, oh, boy. That's how you see us? Um, sure. <laughs> Where is he, Constable? Where's Harry? I believe he's currently in the operating theater, ma'am, and undergoing extensive operation. Extensive? It's been several hours since he went Holy in. Holy crap. Oh dear, is he going to be alright? Well, it doesn't appear to have been working, you see. <gasps> what? what? You Go the anesthetic, that is. What the f- Uh, history, please? History? <laughs> the, the anesthetic isn't working? You serious? Wow. I've heard a report that the gentleman claims he may have had a little bit too much to drink last night. Coffee, that is. Wh what? <sighs> anyway, I think it would be fair to assume that he won't be back here for several hours yet. Uh, I see. Thank you, Constable. Perhaps we shouldn't leave and come back later. And before we do, uh, did you inhale helium by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Helly. He always gets like that when he drinks too much coffee. Look around. Can't take the anesthetic. Look around. No, I no, oh, yeah, can't. So I can examine anything? some things. There's a notice board on the wall here. Look, let's see. What does it say? Thought of the day, on seeing any vermin, calmly and discreetly inform matron. Gross! Tisha, hello! Hi. I can drink and stretch. Um, I need lots of drink because uh, uh, my throaty throat is, is painy pain. Hurty hurt. 
Lit hurty hurt. Oh yes, they have rats and mice in hospitals like this that love to feast on all the medicine. That sounds unsanitary. <laughs> if you don't deal with them, there's nothing left to treat the patients. Rats and mice? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so I know we're feeling bad for Shelms and all, but if that man dares to deduct his own shooting, <laughs> I'll shoot him again. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that actually would be pretty brilliant to watch. That would be funny, yeah. That is how you shot me in the leg. Yes, um... Wagahai? <laughs> Wagahai! <laughs> Don't take... You leave Wagahai out of this! <laughs> for those who have not been here for a couple of streams, Wagahai is their cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think we actually have a card for Sholmes deducting his own thing. Uh, d that should be. That should yeah, be. that should be. Yeah, uh, Sholmes, Sholmes deducts so something that he was there for. <laughs> uh, this is a rather old building, I suppose. But the doctors and nurses are a very good idea. I certainly hope so, for Sholmes' sake. Okay, bed. What a thin bed, though. This must be, must be Mr. Sholmes' bed. I guess you would know a thing or two about that. It's much thinner than his bed at home. I mean, uh... Mm. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, that's so cute, Tisha. Yay, first farm. That's so cute. Uh, I know, it looks stiff as a board, doesn't it? Oh, I don't think that will bother him. No? I often find him asleep face down on the floor, completely dead to the world. I think I'd call the police if I discovered someone like that. <laughs> oh, there's a there's an over? There's there, a... there is an over. There's not a whole lot for me to examine here. I'm just trying to make sure that there is nothing else. Wow, they really... Look at those windows. It would no be bricks. funny if Herlock was just standing yeah, over it there. it really would be. It would be very Herlock okay. up him. It's just, just these. Crutches. There's not a whole lot to examine. I wonder what these are. Do you have any idea, Iris? Really? Really. Oh, haven't you ever seen crutches before? Let me explain. They're for people with leg injuries to help them walk. You hold one under each arm, you see? Ah, right. Then you I thought stand were... on the top of them and you dress like a clown. I thought there were weapons of some sort. <laughs> Why would there be weapons in a hospital? Just like, why would there be weapons in a courtroom? Thought maybe a fighter had been injured in a battle contest and brought here along with his weapons. Like you do. You know, like you do. That's surprisingly plausible. It is a hospital, after all. <laughs> all right, let's leave. Prison. Let's go to prison. Woohoo! Because we're going to see Gina in prison. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, how awful. Oh, God. No. Oh, Gina. Poor girl. Hello, Gina. <sighs> they let you keep the gun, gun in prison? Really? Oh, you still have the grenade launcher Hallie and I made. That's fucking weird. Why would they let you keep that? I wish they wouldn't point it at me all the time, though. What are you here for? I'm a lawyer. Jenny? I have a feeling it's because of us that you've ended up in trouble. We were thinking that you might be we that we might be able to help you. I don't need no help from a lot like you. You have another idea for the card. Susato committed the crime of Hermione say so gets work, but it backfired and he didn't get the case. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, eh? So, like, like he, like, Susato has to be defended, but we're not but, the one defending Nukin her. But doesn't actually defend Susato? Interesting. Well, you can't. Sorry? You, uh, get lost. Don't be like that, Ginny. I know you didn't do it. Never shoot someone, not with a, a gun, just with a grenade launcher. 
uh, it's unlikely, but it's a funny thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be fun. It would it would be actually kind of an interesting plot point. You don't actually get to defend it. Yeah, like having to watch the case and like not being able to mm-hmm. do anything. That would be really hard. You think you know me? Pull the other one. But then there would, would there, the only problem I would have with that is that there would be no gameplay right, in the like, courtroom. What would you, do? you would just be sitting there watching Van Zeeks mm-hmm. just absolutely rip a new you, new you, one to you, some you, rando you defense be the lawyer. Sato to Van Zeeks. Oh, you play as Kazuma. Hmm, <gasps> Kazuma. Hey, they kind of they kind of did that. If you know the flashback case that hopefully we'll get about Kazuma, he could be defending Susato. We don't know that, that didn't happen. Oh already. god, a flashback case of Kazuma defending Susato. Yeah, maybe you know, that's how they know each other. Maybe I, I was gonna say we've been, we haven't had a flashback case in this game. I, I'm expecting it to be the first case in the next game. First case in the next game. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah that that's that's kind of one of the squares on Ace Attorney Bingo is a flashback case. Um. Also, kind of feels like a retcon case. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, ooh, uh, let's let's let's. Uh, <laughs> uh, you think I'm like? It's like an unlikely unless you get called in by a witness by Zeke's and mm-hmm. uh, uh, as a backup evidence. Yeah. Oh, we get to play as a witness. Oh, <gasps> that would be cool. If you could be on the jury. Ooh. ooh. Although you're not a citizen, so you can't really be on the jury. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Oh well. Oh. You ain't got the first idea about Lex and me? I'm a thief. I pinch people's purses when they're walking down the street. That's how I get by. Well, you're not gonna get by like this. If I saw me chance, I'd sneak into a pawn shop any day of the week. Just see what I can lay my hands on, get it? That's the kind of person I am. But, but, Jenny? I've been caught tomorrow, they said. Some cult came by before and he said he'd be a lawyer for me or the like. <gasps> said it was my right or something. Oh, no. What? No. What? Oh, oh, oh. But I told him to get stuffed. Don't need no lawyer. Don't need no one. G- Gina. Gina, you do. Gina, you sweetheart. Do. You, Gina. Need, you need people. She couldn't be staring at me anymore, obviously, if she tried. <laughs> Why are you being like this, Chinny? Don't, don't, don't forfeit your right to a lawyer, please. Don't do it, please. That's not a good idea. Gina? 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 I don't understand, Gina. Why did you send the public defender away? You want me to sign some papers? Representation papers or something like that? It's all going to be rigged anyway. Whole trial. Don't pin it on me because I'm a kid. That's what grown-ups always do. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. At least this one, we would like to get declared innocent. Right. Why do you think that? Because that's how it's always been for me, growing up in the back slums my whole life. Yeah, she probably like was like, if I'm going to get accused of crimes anyway, I might as well just start fucking committing them. Yeah, she's like, why the fuck not? People yeah. think I'm a criminal, so may as well do crimes. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of like, I I definitely have felt that feeling of like, when, like, especially as a kid or as a teenager, like when adults like accuse you of doing shit mm-hmm. or yell at you for doing things, mm-hmm. like constantly that you didn't do. Or that is unavoidable. Like, you kind of get that feeling of like, okay, well, I'm going to get yelled at anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like, why not? so why don't I just start doing the thing? Or like, yep. what's the point in me avoiding doing the thing? Or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, like, I got yelled at um, a lot specifically for my grades, like a ton. And like, I used to like, I would get yelled at equally for getting a C or an F. So, like, if if I got an F, I got yelled at for failing. If I got a C, I got yelled at because it wasn't a B or an A. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's like, okay, so if I'm going to ye- get yelled at for putting in effort and getting a C, um, what what's the point of trying for the C when I could yep. just get an F and not put in any effort at all? Yeah. So, like, the, the, the intention was... To scare me into make you know doing A's or B's, but the result was that um, I just accept that I'm gonna get yelled at regardless, and I just fail. Mm-hmm. You know, 
So it just fucking yeah, exactly. The thing is, like, I I would I would burn out getting C's. So I'm like, well, if I'm burned out, I might as well just not do anything. So um, now I'm an A student because I don't mm-hmm. have anyone to scream at me when I get C's. <laughs> You're great. I I graduated my 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 community college with a 4.0. 4.0 and honors. 4.0 and honors. Scholarship recipient. Yeah. I'm really smart. Fucking baller. <laughs> anyway, very, very smart. Um. Also, I tried very very hard. You were I did. Great. I worked very hard. She did a great. Yeah, so it turns out when you don't have the pressure and someone yelling at you all the time and you're doing what you want to do, then, you know, you succeed. <laughs> oh, oh, a, four, a 4.0 is perfect grades. Yeah. Um, I, 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 got, I got, I got, a, I got A's across the board. Um, 4.0 is, uh, is perfect grades. Anyway. <clears throat> Gina. You do what a grown-up is tell you and get your mates dragged off by the cop. It was worse. I had it happen to me before and all. Pen sold out and nearly snapped on the back of it. To be fair, it is technically... It's only an associate's degree, so it's only a two-year degree, so... Not to downplay it, it's still a degree. It's I, a degree. It's an accomplishment. It is a but, fantastic accomplishment. Um, but it's not like a bachelor's or anything. It's a degree. It is a degree. What? <laughs> I agree. It's it's Good. a degree. I I'm so sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Don't worry. Our grading system is also weird. Mm-hmm. You can't trust no one. That's the point. As soon as you do, you're going to grass dead. Yeah. Also pointing out that in the U.S., um, fifty percent is F. F. Getting a fifty percent, basically understanding fifty percent of the material, you failed. So, um, when we're talking about getting B's or A's, we're talking about 80% or higher. Um, 80% or higher grades. So, that's why American education system fucking blows. Um, (laughs) Because you're grading someone who knows 50% of the material the same as someone who knows 0% of the material. mm -hmm. You know? Harsh. Awful. Gina, Listen. If you like, in tomorrow's trial, I could forget it. Jenny. <laughs> Je- <laughs> Sorry. Je- Jenny. <laughs> All together now. Jenny. Jenny. Don't you trust Bruno? Come on. Mm, no, I don't. I, 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 I defended Mr. McGilded to the letter, even though I didn't like him at all. Exclamation mark. Look, I'll ask him nicely now. Just leave me to rot in here. Oh, that sounds nice, Riddles. Just leave me alone, like I said, to rot in here. What <sighs> the fuck happened? Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. Can you tell us what happened, Gina? Of course she's not. She's going to be like, fuck have, off. You <laughs> should present your lawyer's badge to her. All right? Last night at the pawnbrokers. The pawnbrokers, the crime scene. Yeah, the combination, combination pawnbroker and crime scene. That's not the top. Figured it'd pay me. So I broke into the place and started going through the store. I think you're lying. But your bloke walked in on me and, you know, the rest. <laughs> but why, Ginny? Why, why would you do that? Go commit a crime and not include me? I feel so alone. Ain't it obvious? The place is full of stuff I can sell for a shilling or two. Dive and eat easy, you know. It's a lot of work, and half the time you don't even get nothing. <sighs> I don't believe that. Is that really why you broke into the place? Mm, what? Are you sure the true reason wasn't something else? Do you have my Backstreet Boys disc? No. Then give it a rest. What'd be the point anyway, huh? Not that I could say it would make a blind bit of difference. I do not have your Backstreet Boys disc, actually. <sighs> I think Herlock still has yeah. it. <laughs> Got it in caramel. Right. Please tell us, Ginny. We'll believe you, whatever it is. We believe crazy things all the time. Tell me why, why <laughs> I can not be your lawyer. Tell me why you shot the pawn broker. <laughs> <laughs>
Believe me, don't be deaf. You can't believe nothing. Everyone lies all the time. You know what? <laughs> We're so fucking funny. <laughs> when it comes to liars, I'm the biggest of the lot. I told some unforgivable lies I am. Oh gonna, boy. Did, she, did she kill Magnus? Did she did she I hope she carriage? did. I hope she did. What darkness is she hiding in her soul? I want Rinosuke to like pull up a chair and be like, you know, sit down with a clipboard and be like, Gina, let's yeah. talk about your childhood. <laughs> so I have this chaise here. Yeah, why is it why is it that you push people away? <laughs> <laughs> I never wanna hear you say I don't, don't need an attorney. attorney. <laughs> love it. Be- love it. Love it so much, Riddles. You're a genius. What do you mean by that? What unforgivable lies. Mm. Unforgivable lies. Mm. What did you mean before, Gina, when you said you were the biggest liar of the lot? Well, I'm just going to lie to you, so why are you even asking? Why don't you tell us what these unforgivable lies you've told are? Maybe we can help. I secretly like in sync. <gasps> Sorry. We're out of time. I'm going to want to question me now. Jenny, please. To be fair, some of their songs are bangers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, have you heard Bye Bye Bye? <laughs> bye Bye Bye. <laughs> I want to give you this. Something to remember me by. Kitty! It's the new <gasps> from the dead. It's a kitty! It's a... <gasps> oh! To Kazuma. Right. <laughs> oh, oh. Photographic print. A really adorable cat. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Found in one of the pockets of this coat. Ain't no point in me having it. Do we get it in the core record? No. I wonder what a little photograph like that was doing in a pocket of that overcoat. Hmm. Anyway, don't bother coming again. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh, Chinny. It's okay. We can like all the boy bands. Aww. <gasps> we did. We got the Mew. We got the Mew. We got the little Mew. Present the lawyer's bag. The Present kitty. the kitty. I want to look at the kitty. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, I'm going to look at the kitty photograph. Oh, he's a Susato. Oh, he's just talking to oh. himself. He's just talking he's... to himself looking at the photograph. Does this... it make him laugh? <laughs> this is an adorable little cat. Oh. I think it looks a little like Wagahai. Mm-hmm. I always thought that cats look like to curl up under the heat, heated Kotatsu blanket when it snowed. Oh, he's thinking about home. He's thinking about home. Maybe British cats are different. No, they're not. Uh, There we go, there we go. February, one small box, ten shillings until the 13th April. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Look at the back of this print here. There's something written on it. Oh, Iris is here. I'm standing in for Susato. I'll try to be sassy and sarcastic now. Okay. 13th February, 9 p.m. Article deposited. One small box. Loan amount paid. 10 shillings. Redemption deadline. 13th April, 9 p.m. Oh. Do you want to build a snowman? Right. (laughs) Do you want to give it pause? (laughs) So this photographic print is a redemption ticket? 13th February? That could be significant. Don't you also, think? Also, the Madame redemption Madame? the redemption deadline was two days before the murder happened. Yeah. Dun, dun, so dun. someone who would have had to have like like they would it, it was it would, would have been an overdue. 
Um, so, oh, either either they, they took it back already or it was overdue. Yeah. It was just two days before oh, the murder on the omnibus. On the wasn't omnibus. It? Uh oh, oh, uh -huh. oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That was the date it was deposited was before the, the murder on the omnibus. Damn, what the fuck? Small box. That doesn't tell us much about it, does it? I don't know. If Mr. McGill did still have the ticket, then presumably he never redeemed the article. So do you think the box might still be present somewhere in the shop? Ah, uh, yeah. If it's something Miss McGilda deposited, we need to investigate. Move. Do you want me to defend you? <laughs> Wonder if you let me try. Mm-hmm. Tina Plus? I know you don't want me to, but I'm trying to, and I don't even know why. <laughs> You used to be so bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and you kind of are still. still. <laughs> if you want me to defend you. Holy fuck. I guess I will. There's blood in the calendar. Oh, shit. I just saw that. Also, there's a great cactus over there. What? There, actually, yeah. Like a lovely cactus and a nice other succulent. <laughs> Beautifully decorated. Ooh. There's, uh, there's bodies everywhere. Hey, we're investigating the crime scene we're for once. Ac we're actually investigating the, the combination pawnbroker and crime scene. High five. Yes. We did the thing. We're at the crime scene. This is where it happened then, last night. That's right. The two thugs I told you about were obviously ransacking the place looking for valuables. But apart from the policemen in here, you wouldn't know anything had happened. There's no sign of a disturbance. No, you're right about that, actually. In fact, if anyone, it's the police who seem to be the ones doing the ransacking. I know what you mean. They're like a gang of organized criminals all dressed in black. Wow! <laughs> Being rude to the police. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard that! Nice. Oh, oh, that's Greg. Hey. Oh man, his his voice is really difficult for me, <laughs> uh, especially with my my voice the way it is. All right, we're gonna take a drink. <clears throat> mm. Ah, I really need to grab something. Take an extra drink. Okay, extra drink. Extra drink. Extra drink. Oh, Inspector. Um, good morning. Mm. Suppose I ought to thank you for your vigilance last night. We got to the scene before it was disturbed, at least. Shame you let the two rogues get away, mind. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I thought you'd assigned extra men to the beat around here, Craig C. Now look what happened. And he's been injured because I wanted a police on duty. I refuse. My voice will never be rested. <laughs> Gregson does love his fish and chips. Ah! Ye ye Your ladyship! No one told me you were coming! <laughs> He's her uncle. <laughs> I expect you to take full responsibility for what happened to Ali and see he has the best medical care. Wow. He's, uh, wrapped around her little finger. Of course, your ladyship. The very best doctors in the capital are attending to him as we speak. No! Blueberry down. Please don't fall over, sweetie. <laughs> okay. I did it. Now, I don't think it's Bruno's fault that the rogues managed to get away, is it? Chasing criminals is a police's job. Yeah. You tell it, Iris. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Absolutely, Whoa. your ladyship, as you say, ma'am, as you say. The gent in black is totally blameless. Every Everyone's in agreement about that. Mm. Would you believe it? There's like a completely different person with Iris. Talk about a personality change. Ah, <laughs> oh, where well, are my manners? You're thirsty. Are you thirsty, your ladyship? What? Perhaps you'd like some juice? <laughs> some nice, refreshing fruit juice. <laughs> 
This is actually fucking funny. <laughs> See him suddenly being all cute. Where's his fish and chips? Where'd he put it? Mm hmm. It's in his hat. Right. Oh, why? Are you thirsty, Uncle Gregsy? Mm hmm. I have some of my special herbal tea with me if you'd like some. <laughs> <laughs> Even with his finger pointed up. Mm -hmm. How proper. <laughs> ah, lovely. <laughs> Ta very much. There, that really hit the spot, your ladyship. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. <laughs> He's just got an alternate personality. Uh, Uncle Gregsy. <laughs> My proper gentleman. I don't even recognize him like this. How do we? All right, Gregsy, what's up? All right, let's talk. Right oh, these fish and chips are back. <laughs> Great. So, how's the investigation going, Inspector? Cable hole. Cable hole. Nothing to it, really. Simple case. This is from very, very definite, ev definitive evidence, is what I meant to say. We're just about to charge that driver we arrested last night, in fact. Diver, sorry. I. She probably can't drive. She's. <laughs> she's, a, she's a little teenager. Tina, you're, you're gonna charge her? That's right, should be able to bring her before the judge at the Bailey tomorrow. At the Bailey! Charger, I didn't think she conducted electricity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm stealing blueberries. Okay. Just that much. It's all good. Hum. Hum. <laughs> Definitive evidence, you say? What is it? Come on, show me. Your ladyship, uh, as much as I wish I could oblige you, I'm afraid. Mm. According to my augmented reality that hasn't been invented yet, <laughs> you're bullshitting me. You've already captured the pair of thugs who broke in here last night, have you? Oh, what the? And you're going to put them on the stand as witnesses, are you? Son of a... Oh boy, it's gonna be Ace of Cards guy. Yeah. Also, if you caught them, why are they not why in they prison? Not how? How could you? How? At least they're gonna get them for shooting Herlock, right? Right? <laughs> right? Ooh, I should have. I should have um, eaten the kiwis that I got today. Kiwis. I got some. I could get some kiwis in a bit. Yeah. How could you possibly know that? I had a feeling, that's all. Remind me, remind me to never keep a secret from Iris. Mm -hmm. um, you're keeping a big one. So you've arrested two men who shot Mr. Sholmes, right? Iris, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> also, your father's dead. Right, also your father's dead. But mainly I'm gay. Um, yes. I knew that part. I, I, I'm telling you because I'm your new father. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> Bad news, your father's dead. Good news. You I'm got a new one. I'm a new father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yes, they were rounded up pretty quickly by the lads at the beat. And Miss Lestrade is being held at the prison? Well, she's probably alone in her cell, so no one's holding her right now. Mm -hmm. uh, she should be. <laughs> That's assuming she hasn't lifted the key for the jailer, of course. Mr. Shaw. Mr. Shaw. Can you tell us anything about Mr. Sh- <laughs> What's condition? He's an absolute crazy man. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not at liberty to hold that information. Scotland Yard matters are strictly confidential. Well, I know he's being operated on at St. Sinners. Hey, can you tell us about the Backstreet Boys disc that you guys have? It's limited edition, apparently. Why can't I see him? I'm family, you know. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, your ladyship. It's the hospital's policy. No visited at all. Oh? What kind of bloody hospital is that? The bullet must have hit his artery. <gasps> oh! What? What? An artery in his midriff? midriff? That's really bad! Fuck! That's 
that's really, really, really bad. Really? That's nearly fatal. Oh my god. He's lost a fair bit of blood. His kidneys okay? Oh no. Oh my god. That's some serious shit. That's really bad. Early. He didn't seem too bad in the first hour or so, but a hemorrhage like that is <laughs> enough to make even the one and only Shalms pipe down. That's what it takes, huh? <coughs> just a little hemorrhaging. Just, just shoot him so, in the stomach. Just a little internal hemorrhaging, and he finally calms down the, the Cocker Spaniel situation. <laughs> German Shepherd relaxes for a Golden, moment. Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever! He's a dog, okay? He's a poppy. Mr. Sholmes is a human like the rest of us, you know. Not is he, though? <laughs> Radusk is talking to us. He's like, <laughs> Herlock Sholmes is a human, not a dog. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> I say back. Right. Well, anyway, he's having emergency surgery now. They've got to stop that bleeding. But he will be all right, won't he? They'll be able to make him better? Yeah, they're just going to sew him up so the bleeding's all on the inside. <laughs> 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 that should be fine, right? <laughs> Well, of course, your ladyship. He'll be right as rain before you know it. Really? How do you know? Oh, uh, uh, lying is how I know. <laughs> uh, because, of course. Uh, yes, because Mr. Sholmes is such a great detective. That's why. <laughs> he's, he's, oh man, the arm twisting that it would normally take him to say that. Yeah, all this unfolded because Sholmes took a violin instead of viola. Or mm. viola instead of violin. Yeah, oh my god, Sholmes. Never, ever play the violin again. Right. Just stop. But according to Rianosuke, he has beautiful, he's it's beautiful, beautiful, but... beautiful, and it's not meddlesome at all. Ha, ha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We better pray the doctors have a better grasp of what's needed to make someone well again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Please don't die, honey. I'll report to your ladyship the moment I hear he's out of the operating theater. Oh boy. Um, I couldn't help but noticing, Inspector. What? Out with it, Sunshine. <laughs> Don't call me Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> well, there seems to be a marked difference between the way you talk to me and Iris. Watch with the saw, Sonny. I'm a cop, all right? I don't go, f go in for favoritism. But he's right. You do treat us differently. It's because of those adventures of Herlock Sholm stories, that's why. Fucking lies. I bet he's lying. Mm -hmm. You were sleeping with my dad too, weren't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> uh -huh. I crop up in him, don't I, Inspector Tobias Gregson? Oh, well, yes, because you're an acquaintance of Hurley's. Very close acquaintance. What did you write about the Inspector, Iris? Oh. I was a little bit too young to write such things, so right. I don't remember, really. <laughs> I think my father wrote some erotica. <laughs> they, they were walking around a playground holding hands. That's as far as it was allowed to go. Yeah. Hurley won't let me read some of the things that my father wrote. <laughs> <laughs> he says they're NC-17. I so don't really know what that means. It might take five to eight years. Yeah. <sighs> holding hands. It was one of Holmes's lines. Gregson is the smartest of the Scotland Yarders, is how he put it. Gregson is the smartest of the Scotland Yarders. Oh, did I write that? And you know what that little line did for me, eh? Very next month, my pay doubled. <gasps> what? Double, I tell you. What? The detective in this game gets more money. Yeah. Instead of getting a pay cut all the time. Oh, that's amazing. Ah, because everyone at the yard reads them. They all read the Herlock Sholmes stories. They even set up a fan club for me. Ha! <laughs> of course, that explains everything. It was around that time that you became such a toady to me, Uncle Gregsy. Can you blame me? All it take is one bad word for you, and Sholmes could change his tune about me. This is amusing. Gregson? No. The great detective will say, he's getting quite overrated these days. I think that- think about what would happen to my salary if that came out in print, eh? <laughs> the whole thing gives me the willies. 
Can't tell you many nights of how many nights of sleep I've lost to worrying about it. But that would never happen, Uncle Gregsy. I would never say anything bad about you. Now bring me more fish and chips. Right. <laughs> and kneel down so I can sit on you. <laughs> I'm, my legs are getting tired. <laughs> Every month when the Rants magazine comes out, my hands are trembling as I turn the pages. Give me another piggyback ride to Big Ben. How awful for you. Here, have some of my poisonous tea to settle your nerves. <laughs> it's not that, Iris. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely. Ta, very much. That really hit the spot, your ladyship. Wait, how many nights of sleep did Grace and Liz worrying about willies? No, oh, you know. Teetotal. What the fuck does that total? Teetotal? Total? I tea mean, they total? were talking about toadies, but total? Teetotal. Teetotal. I mean, what? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know, man. Not like a teetotaler. It's supposed to be. A... Oh my god! I just fucking I put it in quotes to Google because I wasn't getting real results. What was the first thing that comes up? It's screen caps of this game. No one can fucking find this. It's just in this game, okay? Okay. They're being weird. <sighs> oh yeah, there's something I was supposed to talk to you about, actually, Mister Natahodo. Yes. What is it? It's your ghost boyfriend. He came back to life. Yeah, I've got an important message from you. Uh, clean forgotten about it until now. Is it Susato? Is it Susato? Yeah, she probably went to see, uh, yeah. Gant too. Uh-huh. Oh boy. An important message. I wonder what it could be. I wonder. What could it be? Important message. Important massage. Are you going to tell me what this important message is then, Inspector? Is Lord Van Zeeks expecting me at his castle mm -hmm. later tonight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about that young lady who's normally by your side, your assistant. Susato! Does Susie, is she alright? <clears throat> She's been kidnapped. She's at the station, isn't she? Being questioned, I believe? Nope. Oh boy. Nope, not anymore. She had to head off. Head off? Where? To Strongheart. Mm -hmm. To Lord Strongheart's office, of course. Didn't she tell you this last night, you fucking dunce? <laughs> he summoned her. Ah, yes, of course. I'd forgotten about that. You had? Really? Yeah, he uh, he had a whole ritual set up in his office. It was kind of weird. <laughs> he had to, you know, put a kimono on the ground and draw a circle around it and do a weird dance in order to summon <laughs> her correctly, but uh, really strange. He, he, he was like, I need her true name. Not, not, not Susato. I need her true soul name, and then I can summon her for real. <laughs> Inspector Craigson, <laughs> what have you been drinking? Uncle Craigsy. <laughs> What's in that tea? <laughs> oh, it's experimental. It's, uh, I was making it for the Great Exhibition for the Crystal Tower. Oh, okay. Uh, Susato was going to Are there any mushrooms in there by any chance? <laughs> Just five. Oh, great. One of the whip stops took her to the yard, uh, took her there in the yard carriage after we'd finished questioning her. But she asked us to tell you that she... Didn't have the fare for the return journey and go meet her there. I just don't have any more. <laughs> Traveler? Yeah, I would like some. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you just need your Russian sugar daddy again. Mm hmm. She's got a nerve using Scotland Yard as a blooming messenger service. <laughs> Instructions unclear. I summon goats and come over. <laughs> That sounds great. Mm -hmm. That would be really great. Uh -huh. oh, I see. Thank you for passing that on, Inspector. I think a goat would look really cute in a kimono. I think that. Would, I think they would too. I think they look pretty stylish. Yeah. Why did Susie have to go see the Lord Chief Justice? And why are you about to Google goats in kimono just to see yeah. if anyone's done that before? They would absolutely just straight up eat them afterwards, though. So. Goats in kimono. <laughs> Has anyone done this on the internet? She hmm. didn't tell me. It'd be funny if you got if you got screen caps of this game. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I'm gonna look. Well, I've got goats on kimono. Okay. You know, I've got okay. There's a goat robe. Ooh. With the goat in a kimono on a kimono. Is, is, is that a pretty, samurai sword? That's pretty meta. 
That's pretty sick. Okay, year of the goat kimono robes. What? Okay, dropping this in the Discord. Please Here do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I, I better head over to the, chief, the Lord Chief Justice's office to fetch her straight away. Does that mean we're not going to investigate this fucking crime scene? Because if we don't... If we don't get to investigate the fucking crime scene... Okay, where Are do you serious? Okay, I'm, I'm going to examine around. Where do I drop? I'm investigating this crime scene, whether you like it or not. In, um... Just do it in... Do it in just fucking the court is fine. Okay, I'm going to drop a goat kimono series. All right then, let's see what we can uncover. All right, what do you think you're doing, sunshine? You can't touch anything. And God damn it! We're going to investigate the crime scene. Oh, but we were hoping to investigate the crime scene. This is a crime scene for Pete's sake. No touching. What's the problem, Uncle Greg? See. Bruno's a lawyer. You know that. We wouldn't want anything to happen to your oh. salary now. Yeah, I am ever so sorry, your ladyship. Ever so sorry. Rules and regulations are a thorn in my side. Of course, Mr. Mm. Mr. Natahono was had been mm-hmm. properly appointed by the confu- accused. That'd be uh, the confused. The confused. <laughs> That'd be another. She's a little We're all confused. confused. The confused. <laughs> <laughs> if you could show me some representation papers, I'd be only too happy to let you nose around. <laughs> Did you hear that, Bruno? You need Ginny to sign some representation <coughs> papers. Now okay. go back there, get shot in the face by her grenade launcher, and bring back those papers. Looks like presenting the detective here with the correct paperwork is the only way. Present a kitty cat. Meow. 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 All right. No, I want to investigate. Meow. A new location has been added. Yeah, we're going to um. go to Lord Chief Justice's office. Oh, Hooray! Oh, fuck. Okay. I guess we'll deal with Gina later. Susato, you Susato. okay? Oh wow, it's been so long since this guy's been around. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yep. This is an office. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. No matter how many times I come here, I always get the same sense of oppressiveness somehow. Somehow. It's not, you know, the layout of the office or... Do you think the place is oppressive? I think it's normal. I'm used to completely wackadoodle places like this after all. How so? I mean, look at that suit of armor up there. You can't take that seriously, can you? What a joke. Maybe it thinks the same about you. <laughs> Don't hurt the suit of armor's feelings. <laughs> oh boy. So everything is clear with regard to tomorrow's arrangements, I trust. Who do you suppose? There's probably Strongheart. There's probably Strongheart. Yes, thank you very much or something. That's, no, th- th- this oh, is Susato. Susato. Uh, yes, Just... thank you very much. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. There no. they are. susato son and I Lord t- Strongheart. I don't. I don't want... You had another ridiculous idea. We die. We die? And we, assist we die. Kazuma in the afterlife yes. of the court case against McGilded. That would be extremely unconventional, especially considered there is a second game. <laughs> it's from the afterlife. It's in the same series, Ghost so it's, it's just, it'd be fucking Ace Attorney Investigations 2, or Ace, Ace Attorney Chronicles 2, mm-hmm. the Ghost. <laughs> Ghost. wonder what they're talking about. They both look very serious. Very good. There's nothing further to discuss. You may return to your lodgings. To be totally fair, having ghosts is not outside the realm of possibility for an Ace Attorney game. Not outside the realm of possibility. No doubt you have much to do in preparation for your return to your homeland. To your homeland? Well, what the... No, 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 Susato, do not leave us. No, 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 no. No, absolutely not. Don't leave us. No! Oh, my God. You can't go. You can't, you can't take You're my favorite assistant. Susato. Wait, what did you just say? Return to your homeland. 
Sasato-san! <gasps> Exclamation mark! Well, because we haven't had any spirit mediums riddles, obviously. Oh, um, Naruto-san. <sighs> what was that all about? Um, how can I say this? Um, I'm being blackmailed to go home. Oh, God. I'm blackmailing her to go home. Mr. Naruhodo, thank you for coming to collect your colleague. She's not a fucking trading card, my dude. No, she isn't my deck. Um. I've got the limited edition. Are you really gonna leave me the fuck alone in a foreign country? That was my plan. With, with the Herlock Sholmes? <laughs> but you're not alone, are you? Not entirely. <sighs> What is all this about? Why were you talking about Mrs. Sato's return to her homeland? And, and... Tomorrow? Yeah, no. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Tomorrow? It's only a day away. What about Ginny's trial? Don't like it. Yeah, it's gonna be... Okay, Ryukun has to go it alone, and Iris is gonna stand by his side and be a Susato. Ugh. I don't like it! Ugh. I don't like it at all! Uh. I am unhappy. I'm extremely mm -hmm. unhappy. <laughs> Ryukun, if you wouldn't fool around with Sholmes and Ben Zeke's all the time, you'd have time to look for a spirit medium. I, I didn't know that spirit mediums were a thing. <laughs> but apparently they're only a thing in Japan and also California, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You mean... Um, hey, is Susato, while you're in Japan, could you send me a spirit medium? <laughs> yeah. She's been formally charged now? Tear. I, I just, I can't be blackmailed right now, okay? I need to stay here. Mm. Susato! Susato! Don't leave you me! Leave. susato son, what is all this about? Oh, please don't... Please don't concern yourself, Mr. Naruhodo. I'm not concerned! I'm upset! <laughs> the Lord Chief Justice is still right here. Just play it cool. It's only me going back to Japan. It's only me going on a boat for another month and a half Just... and, and going halfway across the world and leaving you here alone in a strange country with a strange man with a strange daughter. With, you know, your 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 dead boyfriend and his katana. And uh, yeah, that's just it's just me. Going back to Japan. Shut the fuck up, Susato! <laughs> I know you're trying to downplay it to spare my feelings, but holy shit, are you... That's offensive. Your life here can continue... That's not what I asked! <sighs> Exclamation mark. What happened? Why are you leaving? Uh... My father, he's fallen ill. Has he really? Maybe he has, but maybe he hasn't. Oh, no. I'm just saying. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Whether it's true or not, it sucks. Uh, oh, no. You know, gotta lose all the dads here. Professor Mikotoba. So he was poisoned, you see. Probably. Oh, this was me, wasn't it? It was, yeah. If I may. Uh, yeah, sorry. You must be the defendant. Rinosuke Narahodo, I believe. Yes, uh, that's right. No, I'm right. My name is Eugen Mikotoba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. We received an international telegram from the Empire of Japan informing us of the news. Ten days ago, father collapsed with a fever. The cause is apparently unknown. He's oh. fallen ill, and somehow, 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 uh, he'll be he, he will somehow probably not be recovered by the time I get back to Japan in a month and a half. Uh huh. Like <laughs> Ben Zeke's. <laughs> it's a, a Natsume san poison him and. <laughs> And so it, it seems he grows weaker day by day. 
Well, then he'll probably be dead by the time you get back to yeah, Japan. So, so don't I hope bother. you. Yeah, so I, I I hope you're prepared to go home to a funeral. Seriously, maybe Christ. that's what she's doing. Maybe. You never got to go back for Cosmosama's uh, funeral. I I don't believe it. Ah, <sighs> as you are aware, the voyage from here to your country's capital Tokyo takes some fifty days. I thought it would be prudent to hasten Mr. Sato's departure as much as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. I, I don't want to leave you, Nadahoda-san, but I'm going to have to do it first thing tomorrow. I can't believe this is happening. I'm afraid I've become another plot point in your story arc to become a great lawyer, Nanahoto-san. What? <sighs> You're going to have to go this one without me. Mm. Tina's been charged? She'll have to appear in court? Yes, yeah, she was formally charged a few hours ago. And the date of the trial has already been set for tomorrow. No! Not even 24 hours later! That's basically what's been happening, though. Yeah. Gina. Ah. The Lestrade girl and the murder of the <clears throat> Baker Street pawnbroker, yes. <clears throat> yeah, she's yep. gonna be sitting on the boat just to come back and, yeah. Yeah, it'd be sad for a minute. Fucking great. God. An all too tren transpicuous case. The pickpocket was clearly disturbed mid robbery and shot the man in a panic. Hey, how about Herlock Sholmes, who was also shot at the scene, not by her? Also shot. Super hemorrhaging. No, the yard is overstretched as it is without wasting time on these open and shut cases. I am sure this guy is, like, sur super pressuring them to get it. This yeah. guy is... Stop wasting time. Chitty would never do something like that. I, I am 110% kidding. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think that there is a, a card in here saying that he is the antagonist. But, but like, I know, because it's so, like, cut and dry. He's, he's, so, even... he's so very obviously Clearly. an antagonist. Come on. He's so very obviously an antagonist. God, you know, um, the feeling that I had when Susato had to go when Susato was summoned here alone, mm. it's that same, like, gut-sick feeling that I got when uh, you got caught in Gant's room with Emma, mm. and Gant's like, you leave, you know, you, Phoenix Wright, you leave, um, but Emma, you stay here. Mm. Like, I have to talk to you. Mm. And, like, so you get kicked out, and Emma's like, don't leave me here, and then you fucking leave, and I'm like, why would you leave her there? Like, you know he's a bad guy at this point. It's so upsetting. I just have, like, this sick feeling of, like, I cannot. Mr. Naruhodo. Oh, uh, yes, Lord Strongheart? In deference of your fine services to date, I shall overlook this young girl's insolence. Don't, yeah. don't call them services, please. He's a fucking villain, man. God. But I have no recollection of admitting a child into my office. Leave now. Huh? Uh, of course, Lord Strongheart. Criminals will tell the most palpable lies in order to evade justice. God, you sound like early days Miles Edgeworth. Yeah, damn. The police can ill afford the time it takes to unravel all their untruths. Meanwhile, more crimes are perpetrated. We have far more serious matters with which to contend. Serious matters? Didn't Greg said mention something like that yesterday? Uh, can you do the history for a sec? I'm going to save that one line he said. The criminals will tell the most palpable lies. Okay. Inspector Gregson made a similar remark yesterday. It's no concern of yours. Though I'm sure I need not <clears throat> remind you of that. No oh boy. No oh boy. <sighs> three minutes precisely until my next meeting. You must excuse me. I'm going to stay on the screen for three minutes. <laughs> just, just to make you late. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not going to happen. <laughs> There's just... 
One more thing, Lord Strongheart. Witches. It's Miss Lestrade's trial. I wonder if you might permit me to defend her? Hmm. A timely suggestion. Sorry? The girl currently has no representation. But, but that's not fair. Yes, she may be a pickpocket, but she still deserves a fair trial. Thank you for the drink. Drink. Do not misunderstand me, young lady. Drink. The government provides for those too poor to afford representation with a public defender. The accuser need only sign the relevant paperwork, and a defense barrister will be assigned to the case. However, the young girl in question has refused that right. Why would she do that? A question you would do well to direct at Miss Lestrade. You'll find her at the local prison, with a picture of a cat. Yes, thank you. I hear it's adorable. Now then, it's time I was leaving. Good day to you. I hope you trip and you fall on your face. What a day. Tina charged with murder. Sasata san about to leave? No. <gasps> Susato, don't leave me. Don't leave, Susato. Come, Mr. Norodo, Iris. We must make haste. But, Susie, you're leaving for Japan tomorrow morning, aren't you? Don't you have packing and things to do? As Mr. Nadahoda's <coughs> judicial assistant, my personal circumstances are of no consequence. I love you. Susato! Thank you for the sit-up. I will do stretch. Don't leave. <coughs> Susato, don't leave us now. <sighs> Susato. Oh, God, that was a good one. Okay. All right. My sole purpose remains to help you in whatever way I can. Thank you, Susato-san. That's a very pensive look. I think we ought to visit Gina first. In any case, I should like to wish her well before I leave. And tell her that cat is adorable. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go! If I'm honest, this has completely thrown me off. I'll just have to do what I can as a lawyer. lawyer. He's reached the next stage where he's going and he's asking to be a lawyer. Right. Not just being told. All right, we gotta go back to Gina. Gina! Gina! Ah! Hello again, Gina. I can't believe they let you keep a gun in there. I know, really. Seriously? It's just... What are you want here for now? To have the muzzle of that grenade launcher shoved in my face yet again, obviously. Hmm, I think I need to improve the way you load ammunition into that thing, don't I? Now how about you just blow your way out of this jail cell? Look! can come as many times as you like, but I ain't got nothing more to say to you. What's with all the 13s? What do you yeah. mean, what's with all the 13s? This is the third, it's like April 13th. It's uh, the third, February 13th. I mean, 13 is considered to be an unlucky number in a lot of Western cultures. Dot, 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 says Susato. Would you like us to defend you? Tina? I wonder if you might hear me out. There's something I'd like to say. I brought you breakfast. I really like your scarf. Will you let me wear it? Could I braid your hair? Can I borrow your overcoat? What's in your cool purse thing? Will you teach me how to style your hair, my hair like you? I like your buttons. Where do you get a waistcoat like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that I must reluctantly bid you farewell. What? Farewell? 
Tomorrow, I must begin my journey back home. To Japan. I fear we may never meet again. What? But, but we were going to do each other's makeup. Oh, right. I've had, the, I've had the pleasure of meeting so many lovely people here in London. I have so many wonderful memories. And yet, as things stand now, it will be a glum parting indeed. Poor Iris is so miserable. Susie. Well, well, mm, ain't my business. Both Iris and Mr. Nadahodo believe you to be innocent, Gina. They've put their faith in you. But somehow, you can't find it in your heart to put your faith in them. What a bitch you are. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, that's right, I can't. What of it? It grieves me greatly to have to say goodbye to my friends when they are so clearly unhappy. They're so unhappy. I wonder what could possibly make them feel happier, Gina. Uh, well, it's my fault. Yeah, because you're being a bitch. <laughs> yes. So I have one final request, Gina, before our paths never cross again. Let me slap you. <laughs> Seriously. She's laying it on. Right here and now. Let me throw you to the ground. Susato takedown. I want you to show both of them that you don't deserve the faith they've invested in you. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Damn, Susato. Damn. Eh. Only by doing that will you truly be as alone as you claim to be. Oh, Susato's fucking. Wow, wow. She's fucking laying down the verbal hurt right now. Ooh. God damn. Susato. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we didn't take the Backstreet Boys record. We just get handed it over to the police. Tell me why. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you expect me to do, eh? You've told us that everyone lies. So prove it by admitting one of your own untruths. Damn, Suzato. Oh. Uh, what about what you said before, Chinny? You said something about unforgivable lies. You must tell Mr. Narohodo and Iris the truth <coughs> now. <coughs> Sorry. I'm their personal Magatama. This is my last request before I leave. My last request as a judicial assistant. No, I, I can't. Whatever these lies are, they're obviously weighing very heavily on Gina's mind. Gina, I could be wrong, but is something, is it something to do with what happened two months ago? Something about that trial? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh boy. Oh god, don't make me look at him again. The one in which Magnus McGilden was acquitted. Ah! Oh. He's dead. You don't need to defend him anymore. It's mm -hmm. fine. The case of that mysterious murder that took place inside the omnibus. You were called in as a witness by the prosecution. Is that what this is about? Mm. Yeah, right. Because... In that trial, I lied. Lied that you wouldn't believe. No, I believe it. You pretty much believe that you're a liar. Yeah, I mean, that he probably blackmailed you. Right. Will you tell us about it now? It's not like you had a choice, exactly, but... Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Like you said... Well, that happened two months ago. Coppers got on me and shoved me in the witness stand. And based on your testimony, Mr. McGilda was declared innocent. In, in, innocent. Innocent. Yeah, well, thing is, lied about a whole bunch of stuff. I knew it. What sort of thing did you lie about? Mmm. 
was hiding under the seat that night. That was the truth. It was pitch black in that little cubby hole. Couldn't see a thing. And then... Thud. Heard that loud thud, like someone falling on the floor. And that's when Mr. McGill discovered you. Yeah. Pulled me out from under the seat and sat me next to the dead man. There weren't much light to see by. When I looked at my hands, I had the cop's blood all over them. I was so scared. I couldn't even speak. You had his blood on your hands? In other words, it was Gina that the witnesses on the roof deck saw through the skylight. Then Mr. McGilded started asking you questions, I suppose. Who you were, and why you were hiding under the seat. Yeah, he did. Only us, not all. What do you mean? I mean, he threatened me. Threatened you how? He made me swear about what I seen and what I heard. About what he was going to do after the cult was found dead. He made me swear I wouldn't tell no one about it. Any of it. If I did that, he said he'd let me scarf her before the coppers showed up. Gina, you must tell me what he swore you to secrecy about. Tell us, Gina. What you saw, what you heard, everything. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> it would be funny if what you it saw, what you heard, heard in the end it was everything. It wasn't, but it mm. would be funny. You said Mr. McGill uh, made you swear to not tell anybody about what you saw. But you were in the pitch black compartment under the seat the whole time, weren't you? Yes, with Mr. McGilded sitting above your head, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's true, but... It was when I thought of the cold in the floor. I let out a little scream, see, it couldn't help it. McGilded heard that and dragged me up on my arm. And that's when I saw it. I was on the floor next to the old geezer where I had been stabbed. A disc! <gasps> All bright and shiny and signed by Joey! Uh, by Joey? By Joey? Which disc? You Which mean, one? You mean the Backstreet Boy that basically no one remembers? They're back? Are the Backstreets back? Actually, they've been they've been touring ever ever since uh yeah. Yeah, still ever since the nineties. They never really left. They never really broke up. Yeah, that's it. Well, what the D took off me at Winterbanks. So the music box just was there on the floor of the omnibus? Not for long. The gilded is spotted straight away. What the fuck is this music box disc the key to? Right? What secret vault does this open up in like the Big Ben hideaway or something? Right? What is in the Crystal Tower? You're gonna bring it to a music box in the Crystal Tower and you place it on there and suddenly Susato transforms. Yeah. What is this It's thing? a mind control disc. Yes. You play this music uh, and someone gets mind controlled. Picked it up smosh and stuffed it inside his pocket. So that disc was in the omnibus two months ago at the scene of, the, of Mr. Mason's murder? And the bug tartar told me I want to mutter a word of it to no one. <sighs> Whoosh. Because we're so dark on that seat in the cab, I was straining my ears all the time. After a while, I heard the door and footsteps inside the cabin. Presuming, presuming that was McGilda getting aboard. Nah, not only him. Oh. Because I could definitely make out the footsteps of two people. Exclamation mark. It was eight years on the jury. In that case, it would seem likely that it was Mr. McGilda and the victim. Ah. Mr. Thrice-Fired Mason. According to my diary, in his testimony during the trial, Mr. McGilda claimed he slept during the carriage ride. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Well, whenever I'm in a carriage, I'm taking me to fierce. <laughs> what? And your own testimony, Gina, supported his. 
All I could hear was the Irishman snore. Mm. I just said I lied my ass off. Yeah, it wasn't exactly true. Neither of them was asleep. I hear him talking the whole time in low voice. What? What what were they talking about? Sorry, don't know. The sound of the horses and wheels too loud. But that still tells us something. Mr. McGilded and the victim knew each other. I mean, he borrowed money, so So McGilded was lying, as I suspected. <sighs> I knew it wasn't going to take long before someone raised the alarm that the bloke had been killed. Yes, you were quite right. The other passengers on the roof deck noticed very quickly. So when the cab came to stop, Mrs. McGilded told me I back on the seat again. Climbed in and waited. Two cops from up top ran off to get the coppers. Yes, I'm um, Mr. Fairplay and Mr. First. Right. And after they've gone, McGill had asked the driver to do him a favor. Okay, Ziva, have Thank a good you. dinner. Thank you, Ziva. A favor? Oh, boy. Now then, fella, what I need you to do is take this coat of mine and deposit it with a nearby pawnbroker. And for your troubles, let's see now. I'll give you ten guineas. Thank you, baby. I shall save you. A nearby pawnbroker? You mean on Baker Street? Well, that's the pawnbroker, silly. Oh, okay. Yep, you got it. It was Windabanks. I thought that was a pawnbroker. <laughs> Coachy snapped up money and ran off to pop this coat as fast as he could. So then there was no one left in the carriage. The gilded opened the box under the seat. Let me get out of there. Not without conditions. I see. Conditions. Great. What were Mr. McGill's conditions then? For letting you go free, I mean. Mm, not telling a soul. Not for anything. But what I saw and what I heard. And there was something else as well. Thank you, Tisha. Drink. Drink. There's more? Always more. Yeah. This is the most important thing, he said. Whoa. I'm after sending the coachman on a little errand for me with some small change in his hand. Thank you, sweetie pie. <laughs> My voice is very bad, <laughs> and I hated voicing this guy. <laughs> now then, did you hear what I asked of him? Did you see anything at all, at all? You asked him to go pop your weasel, right? Excuse me? <laughs> Fiend's taking me over coat to deposit with a pawnbroker hereabouts. I want you last to take the redemption ticket for it. You understand? What? You want me to have the ticket? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I'll come fetch it from you later. Sometime within the next two months. You're to hang on to it until then, is that clear? And whatever you do, don't lose it. All right, then. And in case I might happen to be delayed at all, you're to go to the pawn shop, Windebank, so it is, and you're to extend the loan before the two months is up. If you forget, the article will be forfeited, and any old fiend can come along and buy it. Eh, but, but, I ain't got that kind of brass. Here's five pounds. That should be enough. Do we understand each other, lass? Don't try anything funny now if you go against me. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Good! And one more thing. In a few days from now, you'll be visited by the police, I have no doubt. The coppers? Aye, they'll come asking you to take the stand in court to testify as a witness. So let's just have a wee chat about that, shall we? What is it that you might say, and what is it that you won't? Ah... Yeah. Yikes. 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 Big yikes. Yikes. 
after he'd gone over it all, I piked it, got as far away from there as I could. He did the pawnbroker's tickets in the bushes near the scene. Went to fetch it next day once it got dark. So, McGill had planned it, and coerced Gina into giving false testimony. Oh, I had a feeling. Bet you're ready to string me up, eh? Lied. In that big old courtroom, I told some corkers. Thing is, he said he would make it so we couldn't live in the East End no more. Whoa. <gasps> oh! He didn't just threaten her, he threatened all the orphans. Fucking he threatened, threatened her with gentrification. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, he's like, oh, we're gonna build up a luxury loft there now, you little lassie. That's what he threatened me with. It was a Starbucks and everything. What a wicked man. It's not even Starbucks. It's like one of those hipster cafes. <laughs> I call them all they, Starbucks. <laughs> they don't have any sugar or, or, or <laughs> milk or anything. You have to you have to drink it black because it, to to savor the flavor of the tea or the or the coffee or whatever. It's some bullshit. Some hipster bullshit. I knew everything would walk but it went back out well in the back. Good job, Gina. <laughs> That was super comprehensible. <laughs> Everything! What went on in the back slums? You know, we had no one look after us. And we was all just looking out for each other. Getting by together. So you mean, Mr. McKilded would have... In a heartbeat. He could have had a lot of us chased out of there if you wanted. And then where are we gone, eh? Nowhere, that's where. So... Didn't have no choice. Thank you, Gina, for telling us everything. It's fucking class warfare right here. Right? But I'm for it now, eh? Go on a minute, you must be livid. Well, you can make amends by doing me a simple favor. Allow me to defend you. Favor what? Sign the representation papers for tomorrow's trial. Huh? Aww. If you don't actually want me to represent you in court, you can rip it up later. Mm. But we need that paperwork or we can't investigate. The police won't let us. Investigate what? The scene of the incident last night. Mr. Shubbs was shot, you see. <gasps> you what? Ellie's having a big operation right now, Chinny. Is it bad? Is it gonna be all right? Shonda's gonna be all right, right? <laughs> That's why I want to investigate, for Shonda's sake, as much as anything. I want to investigate this time, mm -hmm. because last time we went into court with three pieces of, of evidence. No, two. It was two. <laughs> it was the. It was the map. And it was, um, it was a receipt. Yes, we had a receipt. We had a bookstore receipt. Yeah, and we have, right now, a redemption ticket, and, and that's it. Dibby, <laughs> <gasps> dibby, dibby! Holy shit! Yay! Thank you, Space Kitty! Thank you! Wow! Hello! Hello! That's great! So what you're saying is, if I sign that bit of paper, everyone's happy. Is that it? All one big happy family? Something like that. <sighs> Suzata son? Yes, of course. I have the representation papers here. I would just never fucking... <laughs> uh, of course, of course he did, but still. I still love you and you're amazing. Also, where would I be without you, Susato? <laughs> God, where am I going yeah, to be without exactly, you, Susato? Exactly. God damn it, why are you gonna leave me? Susato! Please don't leave. Mm, I, I don't need no one to stick up for me, no. No lawyer, nothing. Okay, well then you're gonna be hung. Okay, yeah, go get executed. <laughs> oh... 
You amazing. You. 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 Sheena. Poor Chinny. She seems so lonely. Ooh. Yay! We did it! We did it. Well, at least this should mean we can investigate the scene at Winnebanks now. I wonder how what investigating a crime scene is like. I've never well, really done like, it before. Yeah, it's going to be a new thing. <laughs> yes. And perhaps we can come back to visit Jenny when we're done there. Sure. Okie dokie. Okie okay, dokie. Okay, operation now. I feel like we finally cracked Gina. She's opened up to us at last. Yes. And now we have a representation paper. No one else knows what a responsibility that is. Anyway, for now, it means Inspector Gregson can't stop us from investigating at Windebanks. Could investigate my first crime scene. Although something tells me he's not going to be happy about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be continued. NBC. But we're going to keep fucking we're going. Gonna, we're going to see. It's only 7.30. Yeah, we're, we're seeing. Um, we're going to fuck around and find out. I could get some kiwis. Maybe? Um, I could also pee. So you know what? Yeah. We're going to save it, and we're gonna burb. We're we're still here though. Don't go anywhere. Yes, we are still here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be like maybe five minutes, and we'll be back. Wee! Look at this kitty until we're done. And What's up, guys? We're gonna come back. Ta-da! I we have the Get kiwis. I'm we... a little tuna. Go. Okay. Uh, actually, fun fact: I like to I like I like to eat kiwis with the skin still on it. Um, like like I I'll, I'll like bite into a kiwi like an apple because the I feel like the skin like gives it more flavor. So I love it. Oh, okay. That's okay, Wolfie. You, I know it gets late for you, so don't worry if you fall asleep. Um, maybe it'll get exciting. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, 
So. Well, we're at the crime scene finally. We're at the crime scene. We made it to the crime scene. Mm-hmm. Here we are at the again, again at the scene of the crime. Actually, about to investigate it. Now to thrust these representations mm-hmm. of the in, in Gregson's face and make him choke on it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as Cosmo would say. Mm-hmm. Threatness it into the witness's face and make them choke on it. Mm-hmm. I want to tell you, Riddles, that is a fucking direct ass quote from Kazuma. No fucking kidding. Direct ass fucking quote. <laughs> with, with with his katana. Well, yeah, a whole, with with one hand on his sword and uh-huh. it and it like slightly mm-hmm. out of its sheath. Mm-hmm. God, it was very. Um, Mm -hmm. it's one of the highlights actually I have it as Mm -hmm. as a highlight and I was yelling at him for making that joke hello again inspector do you have a minute please oh god I gotta voice him again (coughs) 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 gotta get a drink (laughs) what is it now you should go home and get some rest hey y'all Gregsy here are the representation papers Your ladyship. How? <laughs> I don't believe it. How the devil did you get that stubborn little ra- ragamash to sign that? I salute you. That is good work, that is. Yeah, I attended around 3 to 4 a.m. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I can see you've been very busy here as well. How is your pistachio? It's very delicious. It's kind of overwhelming. How about some tea? It's a special blend designed to relieve fatigue. Fatigue. Oh, gosh. Mm. Ah, mm. lovely. Well, let's see now. Yes, yes, I hardly feel tired at all. I'm as fit as a fiddle, your ladyship. Would it be alright if we investigated the crime scene? The, the the scene of the crime, then? Do as you please. You know where it happened. Through that door behind the counter. <laughs> yes, a storeroom. That's where I discovered Mr. Winterbank. And Gina. And Gina. Damn, everybody, everyone thank Tisha for doing doing God's work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Well, I'll be getting back to business then. Will you be investigating the storm as well, Inspector? <sighs> if I'm perfectly honest, we need to wrap up wrap this up before long. Can't afford to spend much time on it. But there are so many articles to go through. It's taken forever, even with the la- r- lads working around the clock. Which is a problem, because there's another case mm. the I need to investigate urgently. Another case? That must be what Lord Strongheart meant by far more serious matters before. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, don't get under my feet, sunshine. Someone robbed the bank. I bet. Someone robbed the fucking bank. I bet. Mm-hmm. I bet this case is actually more important. Come then, let's not waste any more time. There's the article ledger there in Mr. Windebank's notes, and... Huh? What's this? It looks as though someone has left a little photographic print behind. It's the fucking same Uh one! Well, look on the back. There's some writing. Why is it the same picture of the cat? Show us, Susie. Show us. Is it a different ticket? It's a different Different ticket. It's a different ticket, yeah. Hmm... Mm. Oh, it's got a bloody, it's got a bloody thing it's on a bloody it. Bloody fingerprint. 
15th February, 10.30 p.m. Article deposited one gentleman's overcoat. Mm. Mm. Loan amount paid, one pound. Redemption deadline, 15th April, 10.30 p.m. Jeez. A gentleman's overcoat pawned for a pound? Clearly, it was a very fine coat. In fact, I think... Yes. This must be the ticket for the overcoat that Ginny redeemed yesterday. And is still wearing, which belonged to McGilded. I never would have hand expected the redemption ticket to be handwritten on the back of a photograph, though. I bet you the cases are connected. Mm-hmm. I bet you anything. Yep. Either they're connected they're totally or, we're go or we're going to end up defending the person in the other case, okay. too. Couple wacky theories. Wacky theory number one. They arrest Herlock for the other one because it's the bank heist. Um, <laughs> not realistic. That'd be fucking funny. Um, Sorry, he was across the street getting shot. <laughs> theory number two is that Van Zeeks is actually supposed to prosecute the other case. Mm. And somehow it all gets, like, combined. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet you anything that, that Rianosuke ends up having to defend who's ever in the other trial. Mm -hmm. Seems Mr. Windebank just used whatever piece of paper he happened to have on hand. This photograph of a cat. Meow. It looks very familiar, doesn't it? Meow. I'm sure I've seen this exact same picture somewhere else recently. Mew. Mm hmm. Like, through this one, you find a lead to solve the other. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you're right. Very reason. It's the same as the one Ginny gave us earlier. Of course. I was forgetting that she gave us that print. Were you really? Did you want Kiwi? I did. Can I have a piece? Uh, no, I'm asking. Oh. I, was, I was asking if you, if oh. you brought them both for me or if oh. you were going to eat it. I will have a Kiwi. Yeah. I'm just eating everything. Stress eating right now. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for then, Mr. Naruto? Get it out. All right, all right. <laughs> it's the cog's turn. <laughs> he's, he's admitting that he's I, a slow I, thinker. I, I, I love that. I love that. I'm just like, I was looking down for a moment to cut the kiwi. And I thought that was your improv line. No, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah. it was literally, he That's said, literally he like, said that right, literal right. thing. Mm -hmm. He said, all right, all right, all right. let, let the, the cogs turn. <laughs> Like, okay. He's like, I'm look, I I think slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Susato. You okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I've got it. These two photographs hide an amazing secret. Get ready for Iris's logic and reasoning spectacular. I would love to spin around with you, Iris. Mm. Really? A secret? What does she mean? You must tell us, Iris, at once. <laughs> All right. First thing we look we look at uh, at Reno's cave first immediately or fail to recognize the immediately the fail to immediately recognize the picture. Yeah, he didn't fucking realize it was the same fucking thing. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. already a moron. Good start. <laughs> Summer Cosmo is just feeling the heat. Do you really, really, really want to know? Yeah, he's like, oh, that's my Duke. That's my Duke. Missed you so much. <sighs> you're getting so smart. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's so sexy when you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need you to tell you all you know about this pair of photographs. Well, I do know that it makes me laugh. <laughs> what yeah. the hell is on Joey's head? <laughs> Joey from the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Iris, about these two photographic prints. The one we found here on Mr. Winnebank's counter and the one Gina gave us early, uh, before. <gasps> One's looking in a slightly different direction. Ooh, it's a slightly different photo. Can you tell? I, it looks like, yeah, I can see one's kind I think of that way. They're reverse. The uh, cat's reversed. No, 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 no. the cat really. face is reversed. Mm -hmm. So almost. Maybe. But yeah, they're, they're slightly looking a different way. It's not the exact same photo. Oh, they're stereoscopic. <gasps> oh! Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Oh! Everyone cross your eyes. Wow, I did it. 
Ooh, that's cool. That's freaking cool. I actually can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> we might be um, we might be a little bit too far off to the side. I think. Yeah, I think it might. Be you gotta really look directly on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's amazing funny. secret that you've mentioned. It. That's fucking. You're so smart, baby. Mew, mew. Yeah, I am such a smart baby. Everyone tell my baby that they are so smart. I remember things. You remember things. Yeah, because Herlock was talking about the stereoscope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, what's this amazing secret that's hidden between these two identical prints? Actually, that's not quite right. Sorry? If you look carefully. The two prints aren't the same, not exactly. They're not? Have another look at them now. Can you see that they're just slightly different from each other? Uh... <laughs> he probably can't. I, I <laughs> think so. It's very subtle, though. But what's the reason for the subtle difference between the two prints? Ah, oh, well, it's because they're a set, you see. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Please explain, uh, explain it like you'd explain to, a five -year -old. to an idiot. <laughs> Did you just imagine that there is an idiot in this room? Mm -hmm. How would you explain it? <laughs> This pair of photographs is meant to be used in a stereoscope. Everyone in London is raving about them at the moment. Oh boy. Ah, a stereoscope. Why does it feel as old? I've heard this <laughs> word before recently. Oh dear, Ken. Uh -huh. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've ever heard of a stereoscope ever in my life. That's very strange. <laughs> oh, that's what Mr. Sholm showed us yesterday. Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. You see, there it is, just over there. Let's go look at the kitty. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, of course, that magical machine that makes pictures look, look almost real enough to touch. They call it 3D. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, actually... It's quite possible to see the same depth in pictures even without one of those contraptions. Just cross your eyes, you nincompoop. What? Really? Do you know how a pair of flat photographic prints can appear to have any depth in the first place? No, um, I'm a judicial assistant, not a... I don't even know what that would be. <laughs> a stereoscopologist. <laughs> Wonderful, then I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> She's over the moon, bless her. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Should we let her explain, though? We really need to carry on investigating the scene. I, for one, simply have to know. All right, guess we're learning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Have you ever considered Ryan? No. I have never considered anything in my entire life. How our eyes see death in the world around us. Well, I just opened them and it works. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Cosmo's like, oh, God, I missed you. Uh, uh. Wish I were alive so I could <sighs> just dip you and kiss you right now. <laughs> it's been too long. Right. But the reason it works is because we have two eyes. Did you realize you have two eyes? I have two of them? Two of them. What the fuck? Where, when did I get this other one? <laughs> Two eyes. Shocking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're no. an escape, please. If you try closing just one Thank eye you, at a time, I think you'll see straight away. What you see with your left eye and what you see with your right eye so slightly different and you'll never be able to unhear that <laughs> think about it when you're trying to sleep at night think about it when you wake up in the morning and one of your eyes is a little bit gooey from 
Oh, God. I, I've had that happen so much because I used to sleep with my contacts and don't do this. Oh, this is a terrible do idea. That. Absolutely don't do this. I was a very bad child and I slept with my contacts in. And like while I was asleep, like what like my one of my eyes was dry and my contact would slip. Mm-hmm. Terrible. And so, oh, God, it is awful. And so like you, you, I'd have to like blink a lot to like get the fluid back no. going. And this is the worst. This is the worst. Yes. The position of objects seems to shift slightly. Exactly. And in your head, your brain uses that shift to estimate Sorry. depth as it merges the two views into one. I only just realized I just belched in the microphone. I'm so sorry. Excuse you. That's how we can sense depth in everything we see, such as in the depths of your lost boyfriend's eyes. Uh, my brain really is amazing, <laughs> isn't it? It does so much without telling me. <laughs> I I think he's, I I said it I said it sarcastically, but I think he really means it. He really does. Oh. oh, my brain really is amazing, isn't it? It does so much without telling me. <laughs> Sorry, Wolfie. Ah, I think I see. So the pair of photographs consist of a left eye view and a right eye view. This is going to come up in trial. Just pay attention I, to this Naruto song. I, I so bet. They never fucking talk about the shit. Although, they did talk about the window tax in the last one. They did. They did talk and about the And it did not tax. come up in trial. Hmm. But, to be fair, they... I mean... It was just heavily suggested that poor Natsume... Um, was suffering from... Uh, carbon monoxide carbon poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning, yeah. Well done, Susie. You're so quick, unlike... Unlike this someone. guy. He's very slow. Unlike this moron. So if you can persuade your brain to merge the two pictures together in your head, will you be able to see depth in these prints? Yes, Ryan. You're beginning to understand. And a stereoscope's function is to act as your brain and allow you to do just that? Just wait until you get a cell phone one day. A what? But anyway, as long as you have two images, two eyes, and just the one brain, if you even have that much. I have, I have some, I have at least a portion of one. (laughs) You can actually do it yourself without needing a stereoscope at all. You can? Really? I must know! How? Let's try it. Let's see if you can view this pair of prints without the help of a stereoscope. Yes, dine, have a go. Susatsu-san really loves this kind of thing. You need to be able to cross your eyes. That's the main thing. Can you both do that? Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to dissuade you from getting contact lenses. I mean, just don't sleep in them. Just don't sleep in them. Just take them out before you go to bed, my friend. If you listen closely, you could hear his two brain cells rub together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's more like you could hear like they're, the cogs turning in his brain, like they're yeah. rusty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just slowly trying to churn out a thought. Yeah. Cross my eyes. Uh, I think I can. Watch me and see if you can copy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Make your eyes do this. You can do it, Susato. All right, let me try. Are you ready, Mr. Nadohodo? We're all gonna do it together now. <gasps> Yay! There, how's that? <laughs> wow, what a screenshot. <laughs> I need to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Now it's your turn, Ryan. All right, turn it turn the camera around so Seriously, we can see it. The trick is to concentrate on looking at the bridge of your nose with both eyes at the same time. Not exactly an easy attack when two people are staring at you cross-eyed. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right, that's enough practice. Now let's try it looking at the prints. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was pretty fucking great. 
They actually went there. They sure did. Mew. Start by staring at one print and slowly crossing your eyes. Whoa. You should see two overlapping images like this. You try it now, Brian. I'm just going to have to give it a try, I suppose. Did the print split into two images for you? Now, the next step is to put the pair of prints side by side like this and then to try crossing your eyes again. The prints should slowly merge together until Mew! They form a new single image in the center. Oh yes! Not all of a it works! I can see it in the middle now! It looks so real! I could look at it all day! <laughs> wait, that, wait, wait, I want, wait. That's just, <laughs> oh God. Susato. Oh, I'm gonna Susato. miss you, I'm gonna miss you. God, I'm so Susato. sad. Come back. I wouldn't advise that, your eyes might start to hurt. Your turn, Ryan. So basically a child does explain simple eyesight to us. Exactly. Pretend you're looking through the two pictures and slowly cross your eyes. Ow. Keep adjusting the position of your eyes until the two images overlap exactly in the middle. Like this, is it? Who's got it? Everyone got it yet? <laughs> there, you managed it. So now you know how stereoscopic images work. Remember that for the trial. Well, I don't know who discovered it, but it really is quite extraordinary. Someone with crossed eyes. I'm gonna go home and cross my eyes everywhere I go in Japan now. Just gonna right. cross them left and right and in the middle. So what do you think of these stereoscopic prints then, Bruno? They're certainly amazing, but it isn't easy to get the knack for viewing them properly. No, some people find it easier than others. But that's why contraptions like this exist, for people who find it tricky. <gasps> I recognize that. We saw one over there yesterday, didn't we? If I remember correctly, you press this little knob here. Then set the pair of photographs in this stand at the back and... still amazing, even though I know roughly how, to, how it works now. It's kind of amazing we've had, like, the, the, the concept of stereoscopic imagery for so long, and yet 3D stuff actually took a really long time to take off. Yeah, it took a really long time to actually become a thing. Well, London seems to agree with you. Stereoscopes are very popular at the moment. You can find one of these folding contraptions in lots of households in the capital currently. But if these little machines are so affordable, surely there's no need to go around staring cross-eyed at pictures like you hate them. That's my hobby. Don't take it from me. It's much more satisfying to be able to see the effect with your own eyes, but well, I think so in any case. Stereoscopic pictures. I had never even heard of them until yesterday. Now you're never going to hear the end of them. We've certainly learned a lot about them, but I wonder if it's knowledge I'll ever really need. I wonder. I wonder if it's ever going to come up again. Are we ever, ever going to need this knowledge that we clearly are going to need? You know, I wonder if it's going to be like, is it the left eye or is it the right eye? Or it's actually a stereoscopic image. Dun, dun, or it's dun. like, here are two photos, photographs of this. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Herlock gave him, gave Windebank the two cameras. He gave him two cameras that take pictures of 30-minute camera. He gave him two cameras. Oh! 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 You're a smarty pie! You're a smarty pie! We're gonna get stereoscopic yeah. proof of the camera. Maybe, of hopefully. Something. That's gonna be insane. That will be quite something if that happens. 
Okay, we we can poke around now. Or just, All right, yeah. Well, this, thanks, all thanks we did was look at this for two seconds. Meanwhile, Hurley's dying on the operating table. Right. The ledger that's open on the counter there really is enormous, isn't it? It must be an awful lot of work to keep track of all these hundreds of items in pawn. It's too much to think about. Better to sell it all and have a clear head, if you ask me. But clearly Mr. Winderbank was careful when it came to the articles in his care. Okay, what about this fucking... Yeah, what... What about this? It... Why won't you let me examine it? Look at this. It's Watch up. this. This is hilarious. I investigated thoroughly, but I can't find anything out of place. Is that staring at the broken shit on the floor? It's out of place? Yeah, who cares? I guess I could... Uh. The police are scouring every inch of this place by the look of it. Instruction from the yard and examine every article in the shop and every ledger and book of accounts. Every article? But that's a ridiculous amount of work, Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. We've been hard at it ever since the shop was declared a crime scene in the early hours. So you've also gone forward in time and watched the hit movie Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sipped and threw it all in ships at least, but still. We'll be walking through the night, that's for sure. And even then, we'll barely have scratched the surface. Crime and a pawnbroker's. It's a crime scene. <laughs> and a pawnbroker's. It's a combination. Crime scene and pawnbroker's. Uh, must be, <laughs> must be every place is right there. Sorry, you did not see the extended staring that I did at my partner just now. <laughs> it's every couple's worst nightmare, you know, a combination pawnbroker and crime scene. Where? Eh? Where? That's a music box. Do you have them where you come from, Runo? Yes, but I've never seen one as large as this in Japan. Oh well, this will be a treat. Shall we have a listen? What do you think? Isn't it a pretty sound? Almost as inefficient as looking at a cat with a crossed eyes for ten minutes. <laughs> True, though. It's a beautiful sound, yes, but... It's a little hard to enjoy when all the policemen in the room are giving you the fierce looks. Never mind that. If any of them say anything, I'll tell Gregsy to have a word. Or his salary will be cut. Iris Wilson, superintendent of Scotland Yard. I'm trying something. Mm. Mm. These aren't slightly different images. They're the same, though. <laughs> You're on to me. <laughs> so, but, but it works though. It fucking works. It works. It fucking works. That's fucking funny. Okay, uh, the <laughs> my partner is looking at the at Streamlabs because I have a I have a like a a transition view up, so like it shows the exact same thing on both sides. Um, and so they're trying to look at, at the, basically exactly what we're looking at now, but. In 3D, I guess. Which it's already technically in 3D. Maybe that's why it works. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's already 3D. These shelves are where the pawnbroker puts articles that have been forfeited on display for customers to buy. Yes, it's a really strange miscellany, isn't it? I mean, who would buy this horse statue, for example? Harley buys horse statues all the time. Sometimes you can find some real treasures among all the junk you know. Riddles, you you literally redeemed that mm. as I was taking a drink of my water. Thank you. Mm. I am also going to drink. I will drink a second time. Drinky, drinky, drink. Are you all right, Runo? Oh, it's just, well, it looks like a collection of useless junk as a whole, but when you pick out individual things, you can't help but wishing you own them. Even that horse statue. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of starting to like horses. Horses. That's exactly how the pawnbroker works. They're very clever. It's like a target. You know, exactly. you walk in there, you're like, I'm going to go in and I'm going to... I just needed a toothbrush and some toilet paper. And... Yeah, I, like, I, I just, I need to pick up some bread. So you walk into the super target because it's like, the you know, on your way back home from work. 
And, and like, then you end up with bed sheets and curtains. Look at these sheet pajamas. Right. Also, this fake plant is really nice. That's a strange contraption that lets you see pictures of things like they're right in front of your eyes. The one that we just talked about for, for a very like long time. Ten fucking minutes. It makes you think. When Sholmes gleefully showed us showed it to us yesterday, we were blissfully unaware that any of this was about to happen. So blissful. <laughs> Can we, you can were we, drinking tea. Tea, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> can, can we look at the bloody calendar, please? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, look here. A sip of chalky milk. Chalky milk. I actually have I have some milk and I have some chalky. Aww. And I could make some chalky milk. You could. I can make some chalky milk if I want. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, look here. Actually, that would have been a good idea. Yep. Whoa. <gasps> the gun, oh. the bullet hole. Holy ho! Did it? Did, did that what? go through? Sh did that go through her lock? Jesus Christ! Was that the bullet that went through her lock? Oh my God! Holy shit! I can see the bullet is still lodged in the wall. What the? Fuck? What's the state of ballistics in this era again? Oh boy! Jesus! Hmm. Presumably, Mister Windebank was not practicing his revolver in his spare time. Ah, well, Mr. Sholmes likes to practice in his drawing room whenever he can. He's very patriotic like that. Sorry? It's all there in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, you know. Isn't that right, Iris? Ah, uh -huh. did I write something like that? Partly in jest, perhaps. In jest? No. Yes. Doesn't do it often. It is quite a dangerous pastime. He doesn't do it often. He shouldn't even do it once. Tell him that about anything, frankly. But forget that for now, Bruno. Let's examine this bullet. Oh, God. What's that around the bullet hole? Blood? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Is it blood? Hmm, a suspicious red stain on the calendar. Aha. Uh -huh. I may well be able to help with that. My what? luminal goggles. There's nothing like the sight of blood to get the blood pumping, is there, Ryan? You're a weird child. You're a very fucking weird child. Ugh, I have a feeling I'm not as bloody-minded as you, Iris. I'm afraid the sight of blood makes my blood run cold. You must have very trying periods. There you have it, you see. When it comes to blood, we're all different types. I haven't got my Hilarious. Yet, so. Get it? Blood types? Ha uh, ha ha! Here it was going, like, the different types is one has period, the other one is not going to have one, the other one is going to have one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a scientific observation. This is the part where all the men in the room faint. Right. So you need this. A gun? Oh no, what is that scary looking thing? Hmm, Harley and I haven't actually come up with a name for it yet. We could call it Charlie. As soon as you see it in action, you'll understand what it does. Watch. Oh, God. Watch and learn, motherfucker. Don't! Oh, okay. It is a loom. It's fucking luminal. Oh, my God. Oh, my. What Are the fuck? Re really? Uh, the color of the blood state has changed. I don't think Uncle Gracie's cool with that. That does it make sense now? He's an alien. <laughs> it doesn't look changed yeah. now. Yeah, I think I'm starting to understand. So we can just blast this all over everything we've got. Yeah, it's luminal fucking gun. it's fucking luminol. It's luminol. It works on the principle that people different people have different types of blood, you see. Does it tell you what yes. blood type it is? How wonderful. Oh, this is this is like a like a blood test. Yeah, what's my blood type? What's my sign? The chemical it fires combined with the blood and makes it change color. So you can identify whose blood it is that you're looking at in a flash. That, wow, what a fabulous invention, Iris. I'm kind of freaked out that you need to invent that. I mean, I... some people have the same blood type, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know exactly where this is going. Right, like, there's only, like... There's only a few of them. There's yeah, not that many. There's only, aren't there only, like... Something like A B O like, A B. It's negative. A B O is something totally different. <laughs> 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 no, 
All right. How, okay, we're Googling this. How many blood types are there? Because this is an educational it's stream. Oh, negative. Um, I don't know my blood type. Uh, there are main, four main blood groups. Um, and then you could be either uh, RHD positive or RHD negative, which means a total of there are eight blood groups. Okay. So I believe I believe I'm AB positive. Tell me why. <laughs> eight blood groups. They're all are, coming together yeah, on they're... the Millennium stage. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, okay. I guess the, the operation on the guy was not to remove the bullet. Yeah, it's probably to, to, um, to sew up his wounds, more like. Just, you know, get, make sure that that to, bleeding is internal only. Exactly. To, to stitch up that artery to make sure that yeah. it doesn't leak so much. Oh, boy. Uh. If he comes out of his knees just hopping around like his usual puppy self, it's gonna be a little, he'd better be on crutches. You're O negative? Nice. O negative. Negative. Yep, your close was good guess. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Is it? I bet Jenny would say it's bleeding great. <laughs> so whose blood are we looking at then? I have no idea. Well, all the chemical does is turn the blood a different color, so... Just find someone whose blood turns the same color and you'll know who it belongs to. In a flash! <laughs> yeah, um... Okay. Are you suggesting we make someone bleed? Yeah, let's just go stab people. It's more like two flashes, really, isn't it? One flash or two. This could well turn out to be a very valuable clue. Hey, Herlock, c come here. We're going to yeah. shoot you with a gun. He's going to shoot you. Again. Also, we need to stab you first. Right. So we must make a note of it in the court record. Yes! Get that evidence! Blood yeah. samples portfolio? Hell yeah. yeah! Can can we look at it? Is there is there anything to it? Let's keep testing and adding the results of any other blood analysis of the portfolio. Wow! As long as I have reagent left, sure. We actually gonna get to lumen all the shit out of all this stuff. Ooh! Cool! Ooh! This, this is pretty clever. This is pretty clever. This is yeah, it's like blood testing. So we don't have to we can pretend that we're in the in the the the, the 21st century. Mm -hmm. This officer has been staring intently at the wall since we came here came in here. Shh, keep it down. I'm refusing to do my job. Oh, sorry. There's a major clue just here. Really? Then we must tell Uncle Gregsy at once. But as soon as I report it, that'll be it. I'll be stuck here even longer. Stuck here? What do you mean? I haven't been home in two days already. I need another constable to relieve me and take over my shift. Ah, uh, I really have a tough time, the British police. That doesn't stop us investigating, though, does it? No, I suppose not. I'm barely certain it was a calendar you're peering at. This guy's determined to not actually do anything, though. Okay, I guess we're looking at this thing again. I'm barely sure this contraption was here yesterday as well. Here we are, although I'm not confident I can get it closed again. Oh yes, that's a folding stereoscope. Really? It's for this is pocket. a stereoscope? Stereosco We're gonna pretend like we didn't literally mm -hmm. just talk about this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sholmes showed us a picture yesterday that you're supposed to see in, <sighs> supposed to be able to see in three dimensions. <laughs> Does, uh, did the men in black come in and just fucking like do that flash forgetty thing? Oh dear, Ken. <laughs> Uh, but what he used was the big contraption over there. Yes, that's right, naruhoto -san. Well, that's for use in public houses and places like that. It contains a carousel with all sorts of pictures inside. Did you ever, did you ever use a, a viewfinder? You ever seen one of those? There's uh, some super ancient shit now, but it's like, it's like a little film disc. And you put it in this little yeah. Google goggle thing. And then you, like, click the button and it switches which film thing you're looking through. Yeah. Yeah. This little thing is a much simpler design for use at home. My my grandparents actually had... It wasn't, it wasn't that, but it was, like... It was similar to it where you where you kind of, like, put your face in these goggles. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, there was, there was, like, a... Kind of, like, a... Like, a video game 
Mm. Where you were, you were like, uh, you were a spaceship and you were flying and like you shot other spaceships. Um, and it was, it was kind of like, you know, you're just going forward and the ships were coming at you and mm-hmm. it's like, it was vaguely 3D. Mm. Um, it was super simple. It was vaguely 3D and it was extremely old. Mm. That's pretty cool. Um, I bet they still have it. That's pretty cool. These are their special shops selling prints you can use in them. I have a little collection myself. I wonder <laughs> if I could make money out of, out of these in Japan. <laughs> I'd be keeping my toilet sparkling clean. And what oh. is it with the fucking Naruhoro clan and, and keeping their fucking clean. toilets clean? Man. <laughs> yes, it's the predecessor of VR Meow. Yeah. It's basically that. Yeah. Okay. What well, can right. we spray this shit on? Let's, let's spray a thing. On Probably places. at the. Not at the Lord Chief Justice. Are we supposed to. Hello? Can we like, use it somewhere? Can we like. Sorry, I was gonna. Go into the back room. Yeah. That's what I what meant. about, like, the scene of the crime? Behind that door. It's a storeroom, isn't it? That's what Uncle Gregsy said. <sighs> yes, and that's where I saw that dreadful scene last night. Through the little window in the door. Mr. Winnebank face down on the floor with Gina beside him. As the accused legal representative, you have the right to examine the scene, Mr. Naruhodo. We must make a thorough investigation. Yeah, of course. Behind that door, that's uh, the real scene of the crime. I've never been to a crime scene before. Mm Mm-hmm. First for everything. Don't worry. There are clues in here. I'll find them. Can I move there Can now? Can go there? It's, uh, there we go. Oh boy. We New location. had to look at the door for a second. Ugh, that sucks, Riddles. Oh boy. You know, you know how we made all those lobster jokes? And then they literally drew the guy like, like on the floor like he had his claws up like a lobster. Seriously. Lobster bank. <laughs> yep. He is a lobster. <sighs> lobster outline. The prawn brokers. <laughs> the prawn broker. God damn it. <laughs> trying to be sad but it's just so funny it's the fucking this the prawn broker it's the prawn broker poor iris <laughs> are you serious <laughs> she's clammed up completely <laughs> Getting better than this. Let's pack it up. We're going home. <laughs> Jesus. Don't be so crabby, Naruto san. <laughs> Please do, Riddles. Please do. <laughs> Iris is bound to find this difficult, not hilarious whatsoever. <laughs> After all, Mr. Windebank's life was taken in this very room only last night. We should have a solemn moment for the lobster man. Oh. oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. She just Oh wait, it, it's Fisher. <laughs> yep. He had to get his fish and chips. What is it now, sunshine? I forgot I was this guy. <laughs> you, you took one look at me and tried to run away. You think a Scotland Yard inspector would run away from some jumped up little defense lawyer, do ya? Yeah, I just, well, I've never seen her ladyship looking like that before is the thing. I don't know what to say to her. So you weren't running away from me, you were running away from a ten-year-old. Yep. 
I'm afraid this is all a little much for young Iris. Some gentle reassurance might go a long way, perhaps, Inspector Cablehole? Eh? Is my daddy all right? <clears throat> Sucks to be you, bitch. Wait. <laughs> Uh, 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 don't, don't trouble yourself in this unduly, your ladyship. I mean, at least you're not dead, are you? That's, that's, um, you, super reassuring. Good, good job. Good job, Gregson. Some of us are dead. Ray! <laughs> Cosima? <laughs> I can hear you. His sword vibrates. I, I, I don't, I don't think that went very well. <laughs> Don't think that. Don't don't think the audience really enjoyed that one. Why? Look, I'm in the middle of an investigation here, Sunshine. And I told you not to get under my feet. Stop calling me Sunshine. That's really fucking weird, my dude. I'm not gonna sleep with you. And we have investigating to do ourselves. Yes. I'd like to hear more of what the socially inept inspector has to say. Damn. Wow. Damn. That's, that's wow. rude. Damn. <laughs> oh, Hallie. You're missing the fun stuff. Uh, and inquires how Mr. Shom's operation is going. Okay, guess we're going to chat with this guy. Shom! The scene is a crime! So, inspector, what do you make of the crime scene here? Ah, you've got eyes, haven't you? Use them! Well, I only just found out I have eyes two minutes ago. <laughs> and two of them! Yeah, I have- did you know? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> it is what it looks like, nothing more, nothing less. Iris, could you lend me a hand? So, Uncle Gregsy, what do you make of the crime scene here? Oh, yes, your ladyship, do allow me to humbly explain. Last night, shortly after the hour, one o'clock in the morning, Scotland Yard police attended to the scene. The one and only door to the storeroom was found locked from the inside. So it was locked from the inside? That doesn't You know that, Ryanoski. You tried to open the fucking door. The lock appears to be broken now, though. What was, uh, was that the police officers doing? Quite right, ma'am, quite right. We took the liberty of smashing the door in as humbly as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh. As you can see, the victim was discovered prostrate on the floor. Hmm, that's wise. Lobster-like. Yes, very, very lobster-like. Very, uh, very prawn, prawn-like, <laughs> as you could see. You would say he was prawned? He was laying prawned on the floor? They, they Hilar hilarious. They yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really funny. Uh, <laughs> and next to the aforementioned body, we discovered the vile gutter child. Are you talking about Ginny? She's my friend, you know, Inspector. That's going to be... I'm going to remove half your vacation time. You had zero, so now it's Miss half Miss Lestrade, zero. the hapless girl, was curled up on the floor, dead to the world. She's still alive, you know. Yes, when I saw her, she appeared to be unconscious. And I'm afraid to say she had the gun that was used in her hand. No. Presumably it's the gun that's still down there on the floor now. Oh my god, are we going to see the murder weapon? Wow. In her pocket, we found the key to the door as well. What? The key to the storeroom? And you say the storeroom had been locked from the inside, Inspector. Correct. All of which leaves her ladyship's friend. And something of a sticky situation, I'm afraid. Okay, here's my theory, which definitely didn't happen. Wild and I say theory. definitely didn't happen because it, like, it, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> so, a shootout, right? Yes. She's in the back room mm -hmm. with with Mr. Lobster. Mm-hmm. Um, the guys come in the room. Mm-hmm. And they've got a gun. Yep. She grabs the gun from the guy, from Mr. Lobster, closes the storeroom door and locks it. Mm -hmm. You know, so she's trying to defend herself from these guys, you know? Yeah. There's that fucking flap in the door. They open it up. They put their gun through the door, shoot Mr. Lobster. 
Mm-hmm. And then they fucking flee the crime scene. Mm-hmm. And she probably faints because, you know, the right. guy just got shot in front of her. Sure. We'll, we'll get to that about five hours into the first case day. Right. Or it's just not what happened. Obviously, my personal opinion is that it's all some sort of misunderstanding. Uh, like, what will probably happen is it's like, there's another way in. You know, yep. or the door wasn't locked uh-huh. until later. The door wasn't actually locked, huh? Mm-hmm. Of course it is, Inspector. Of course it is. Shams! Shams! Uncle Craig said, do you know anything about Harley? Is the operation finished? Is Harley all right? Is he? Ah, uh, well, uh, the thing is, hmm. Don't mince your words, Inspector, please. You, you don't mean to say that Mr. Sholmes is... is... No, 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 the operation's done and dusted. It's just that, uh, well... Out with it! Yes, ma'am, please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> they use something called a general anesthetic. It's the latest thing. <laughs> Renders the whole body insensitive. The whole body? Anesthesia? Anesthetize? 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 Is that even possible? It means the operation can be completed while the patient is fast asleep. Goodness. In the Empire of Japan, we can just manage to provide laughing gas for a tooth extraction. The trouble is, the latest thing isn't always the greatest thing, if you follow my meaning. Oh boy, is he not waking up? (laughs) They couldn't get the medication to work at first, so it took hours for him to nod off, so I hear. And now that the op's finished, they they can't get him to wake up, apparently. Son of a bitch! Uh. Harley! Ah! Motherfuck. Oh my. Uh, so is this the trial where Naruhodo san has to go it all alone with the kid? No one knows if the anesthetic is still in the system or if the bloke's just plain exhausted. But anyway, all they can do is stand back and watch until he comes around again. The bleeding's only internal, though. Right. Hi! The moment he opens his eyes, your ladyship, I swear I shall get to word to you. What a surprise. Even in matters of life and death, Mr. Sholmes has to do things his way. That's very Mr. I did it my way. Right? Yay! Yay! Thank you, Riddles. This is very, very good. (laughs) That was really special. Wi-Fi was mean. Oof. Um, the, what you missed is that, is that Herlock, Herlock was put under anesthetic, couldn't get it to work, and then after the operation, he, they can't get him to wake up. hmm So he's, he's asleep forever. The police have marked the position of the body with a chalk line. Looks kind of a, like a lobster, don't you think? <laughs> it super does. Oh, Mr. Lobsterbank, he was a nice old man. Well, he was shot just once, through the heart. Most likely, a fellow died instantly. He wouldn't have felt a thing. Yes. You you shot to the heart and you're to blame. (laughs) (laughs) Are you saying that I give love a bad name? Well, he played his part and you played your game. (laughs) (laughs) This must be his blood, then. Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's do the spray. Let's yeah. do the spray spray. Shoot it! Shoot it! I don't like to ask at such a wretched time, Iris, but I wonder if perhaps... Shoot it! Shoot it! Don't worry, sissy. I'm ready to shoot the shit out of this blood. It's pink. It's blue! Whoa. So now we know the color the chemical turns when it reacts with Mr. Windebank's blood. Hmm. It doesn't match our analysis of the blood stain we found in the main shop. No, but let's add this sample to the others we've already collected anyway. 
Hooray! Yay! This, this is a revolver. A real one. You were standing next You've to- You've touched a real revolver. You've been around quite a number of guns recently, Naruhoto-san, just saying. Are you gonna pick it up like you did Mr. fucking Wilson's gun? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna stare at it like a fucking dunce? Do we have a cabinet to shove you in? Please. And quite, quite possibly the murder weapon used to take Mr. Lobster Bank's life. What's the matter, Susie? You and Bruno look like you're about to faint. <sighs> We've had bad experiences with touching guns in the past. Well, it's just that I've rarely seen a gun in the flesh. In the metal? In the, the metal, exact, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make the joke. <sighs> oh. And I've, I've had issues with guns in the past. <laughs> also with uh, pet snakes, Russian ballerinas. A lot of issues with yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, Irishmen. Mm -hmm. Vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Wine. <laughs> Chaises. <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm. we saw Mr. Winterbank with this yesterday, didn't we? Oh, God. I shall have to take my own life. Yeah, we don't need to see this. Goodbye. I did. I succeeded. Must be the same gun. And last night, when I looked through the spy hole in the door to the storeroom here, that was the same gun I saw in Gina's hand. Mr. Lobsterbank told us that he only ever had a single bullet loaded in his revolver, didn't he? It was Russian roulette. Not to, not to break up the scene, but what a nice song. It is. It's very nice. Well, it's empty now. The one and only bullet he had in his gun has been fired. Honestly, the soundtrack to this game has kind of been bangers. Mm hmm. I haven't always been able to hear it very clearly because yeah, because like, we're know, listening. The sound comes through here, but yeah, the sound doesn't come through very well through my. I'm. I, I don't have any speakers, so it's coming through my actual monitor speakers, which are trash. And there's like some kind of stuttering that goes on, so we don't mm -hmm. actually hear all of the music. But um, I definitely want to listen to the soundtrack later, but I don't want to spoil what songs are yeah. on it because, mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah, it, even even the song title could spoil something, totally. you know. I want to listen to Cosmos theme, so you can barely be fairly certain that oh god, Cosmos theme. I found this out today. Cosmos theme is called the Samurai on a Mission. And there's also a second one that's named after him, which is the sad one. It's called Nocturne. No. Uh-huh. No. Cosmo. Cosmo. Yeah. I, I think I read that only halfway. Thank you, Tisha. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh. Okay, what else we got to look at? What else we got to look at? All right, let's see. Look at all these articles that have been deposited. The room is stuffed full of them. I can't believe how many there are. Between you and T, we've been very well hydrated. I actually Thank had you. to refill my entire, like, glass because I've been drinking so much. Bicycle, gramophone, musical instruments, even some enormous paintings. Look, people are just... Pawning their shit all the time. Pieces of people's lives quietly gathering dust here together. There's something kind of deep about that, Ryukun. Oh, thank you. Something very peaceful about the atmosphere in here. Really? Or at least there would be, if not for the chalk outline on the floor and the policeman shuffling about and the lobster puns I just made. <sighs> not much I can do about that, Sunshine. Why is my nickname Sunshine? Okay, is that all? Is that it? We could Wait, we could click this the, this again, but I don't think that it's gonna be anything different. Iris, don't worry, I'm all right. But we must find the true culprit. 
Yes, absolutely. Except I'm gonna go home to Japan. Oh, the open chest. You know the what? The open chest. Literally. Might want to look at that. Didn't one. even notice. I would like to look at the ship. That's literally. Cool ship. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. But literally didn't even notice. Thank you, Riddles. Yep. Smart. What would I do without you? Out of all the articles in the storeroom, this is the only thing that shows any sign of being ransacked. Ah. <gasps> it's the manuscript. Oh. 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 What is it, Iris? That's... That's the box file that my manuscript was being kept in. Ho! Oh. Iris' unpublished story, The Hound of the Baskervilles. Surely that's not what all this is. And I did, in fact, look up the, sp the spark notes for The Hound of the Baskervilles, and, uh... You're not allowed to say anything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what it's about, but I don't remember... Like, I remember having read it. I don't, I don't remember anything. Like, I didn't, nothing sparked any recognition mm. about, like, having read it. Like, somehow that entire novel was just <laughs> expelled from my mind. <laughs> like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, holy shit, that's wild. I don't remember reading any of this. But I did read it, like, back in middle school or high school. And I remember very little about that time now. Sorry, Iris, but you asked me what, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> we, we must, uh, to check, 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 check inside the box at one once. Really? Yes. <laughs> God, I'm so blind. I'm just gonna stare at the chest together. Ah! It was there! Iris' story was there! Oh god, it's there. Really? It was? Really? Well, that's good news, isn't it, Iris? Um, yes. I mean, of course I believed Harley when he said he deposited it here, but still. It's a relief to actually see it. Relief? Because it's not very well hidden- oh, not a very well hidden frown. Hmm. Oh, ho 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 Herba herba herb. We have it in our possession now. Can we rotate this evidence? <laughs> can't find anything out of place. Like, I can't deal with reading all this shit. The Hound of the Baskervilles. Hmm. How did Susato know exactly the title of this unpublished how, story? How did you know, Susato? What is your dark secret, Susato? I suppose I'll just have to wait until she's ready to explain it to me. Yeah, she's gonna go back to Japan and never tell you. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Blue, rotate in the evidence! Rotate that evidence! Woohoo! Woohoo! Is that all? Is that all? Is it it? Are we done? Is it all? Is it, are we done? 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 Woken the fuck up can we go the... find her? Are we... Is there anything else we can talk to you about? No, let's move. Hurley! Hurley! The hospital? Hmm. Hospital? No. No! No, Hurley. Prison? Gina? Oh, there we go. Uh, Okay. Prison. Tina doesn't appear to be here. Okay, not in prison. I believe she must be in questioning at the moment. Oh, but wait a minute. What is it, Iris? Well, if you examine the scene here carefully, there's another possibility, isn't there? Ginny could have slipped the key from the jailer when he wasn't looking and escaped. Or maybe I passed it to her. Haha. -ha. Uh, oh my. We didn't actually mean to what? Why would handle. you do something like that? That would only make her situation worse. Uh, well, calm down, Bruno. I was only joking, of course. Just, that was a, it was entirely a joke. I, I didn't pass any keys to any bars. Oh. To any girls who needed to break out of prison. Uh, you had me worried there. <laughs> I thought it was a great deduction. Huh. <sighs> Yes, it must be your way with words, Iris. You're so wonderfully persuasive. Perhaps you don't 
fully understand the weight your words carry. She's about to lay down the smackdown Jeez. again. She gets dark when she's in prison. All right. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I suppose the light-hearted great detective is a contradiction in terms. Well, in the same situation, I'm sure Mr. Sholmes would have thrown his head back into fog. Yep. I'm not exactly sure that's helpful, Nadahoto san. Well, anyway, it looks like we'll be able to talk to Gina for a while. We should try to make progress with our investigation <laughs> in the meantime. Okay. Come along then, Bruno and Sese. Let's just go back to where we were before, I suppose. Okay, I can't even move that. Uh, go back to Shom's suite. Have a nap. <laughs> Let's just have a nap. We're just gonna nap have on the shades. Have a nap. Like pet Wagahai. Right. Pretend yeah. Pretend like nothing's happening. What a good kitty. Meow. I'm just gonna look at the shades. <laughs> mm-hmm. God, I, I'm literally trying to get to the move button, please. Uh, we haven't checked Baker Street, huh? Nope. Okay, nothing to see here. Maybe we had to just move out? Nothing. Mm. No. Move. Not move. Examine. Is there literally anything else? Hello? Did we miss something in the storeroom? I don't think we did. I looked around. I looked at that. I looked at that. I looked at that. I know I looked at this, but it still has that. The balls. Three golden balls. That's right. That sign shows the shop is a pawnbrokery. A little bit like your armband shows your defense lawyer. It no, my armband shows that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> What's significant of three golden balls? Does it have any special meaning? Oh boy, that's you know, that's the password you give to get into the mm -hmm. certain kind of club mm -hmm. late at night. I expect Harley would like to answer that question, but he's back from the hospital. You can just talk to Harley about the three golden balls. Yeah, I. You should talk to Harley about the balls, not me, <laughs> a ten-year-old. I'm a minor. You mean you don't know? Well, let's look at this again. Green blood. Just seems wrong somehow. Oh, there are all sorts of different colors. There are pretty pinks and purples too. You know. How about we stab you, and we'll find out what color yours is. Everyone's blood is different. I wonder what color my blood would turn out. Actually, I don't want to know. Smart thinking there, Duken. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing is, to is see. Is there something in the storeroom that we missed? I'm fairly sure there isn't, but Maybe. I will go back. Let's go, let's go back. It did, and Gregson didn't have anything else to say, right? Yes, I already checked. Meow. Right, see? Nothing to see, nothing to see. Check mark. Mm -hmm. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark. Check mark everywhere. There is literally nothing to see anywhere. Wow. So I promise you, do we have to present something to Gregson? I was just thinking, like, maybe we the, never have to do that. The manuscript? Show him the manuscript. He likes to know if he's in the thing. It, yeah. It, it, is that what I think it is? Your ladyship's latest? Yes, my latest story. It's called The Hound of the Baskervilles. And let's find out how uh, you turn out. Our uh, most fascinating title, your ladyship. Fascinating. And uh, I don't suppose... Would there be any mm -hmm. mention of my humble self in the tale this time? Hmm, good question. I can't really remember. I see, I see. Well, why would you, your ladyship? I'll just await its publication with eager anticipation. You needn't worry, Inspector. I'm sure if you do appear, you won't be doing anything particularly <laughs> remarkable. Oh! Ooh! Damn! Damn! You can home! Harsh! You're looking to be arrested, sunshine? <laughs> didn't mean it like that, and even if I did, I wouldn't, you wouldn't have bitten her ladyship's head off, would you? Mm -hmm. 
Dr. Gerson, could you give me an opinion about this season? Yeah, this is generic. In that case, da 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 da. Okay, he does a sip, he sip. Ooh, noodle nude, hi! Hold it! It's been a minute! Hi! Yes, you're being generic, please. Thank you for being here. Yeah. This yes, game is, is so good. Uh, this, maybe? Nah, he's being generic. Cool beans. Oh, boy. God damn it. Okay, what do we do? Uh, what? Do we need to look up? Oh, the wait, shoot. No, the they're top? not being generic. What? Whoa. Hold on. Uh, what do you make of this? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I thought he was being generic and he totally fucking missed it. Sorry. Ah, what have we here then? A redemption ticket for the article deposited here, is it? It looks like some someone ran out of office stationery and wrote the ticket on the on whatever paper was hat uh was to hand. Yes, this is the ticket for Mr. McGilda's overcoat, the one the driver turned up recently. Uh actually no it's not. Really? You think you know better than me, do you? No, no, I didn't mean to. Um Fair no, right, Uncle Big, so it isn't the same ticket. Yeah, he's eating fish and chips. <laughs> infinite fish and chips. He has the he has the, the power of infinite fish and chips. Mm-hmm. No, of course it isn't, of course it isn't. Never doubted you, your ladyship. So what's all of this about then, if I might be so bold just to ask? Yeah, dude, like literally my voice is shot from how much I was screaming last night. Mm -hmm. This is how good this fucking game is. Very good. Mm-hmm. This is a second ticket. A second one. Seems that Mr. McGill had, in fact, another had another article in storage here at Windabanks. Is that right? I think we need to discuss this further with the inspector, Nadahodo san. Oh, good. Because he's ever so easy to talk to. Okay, now! Hooray! Hey! This ticket was in one of the pockets of Mr. McGillard's overcoat. I'm just not used to us having to present right, things to this, people because, like, this isn't very presenty. This game so far, it's right? All the other, all the other Ace Attorney games, it's like you cannot move forward unless you like present the exact right thing mm -hmm. to the exact right people. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you're wandering around for a while. I'm like, this is the first time I've wandered around for a while. Yeah, uh huh. And so like, I've, oh, I've got to yes. present something to someone. Yeah, hey, you mean to tell me? Yes, there's more than just the music box disc, it seems. Mm, I should have insisted the lads taking it back to the to the yard and examining it properly. Well, you may have failed in your one duty, but according to the details on this ticket, Mr. McGilda deposited another article here with Mr. Lobster Bank. Yes, I can see it written here. A small box, was it? A music box that will read the music disc. Do you have any idea where it is, Uncle Gregsy? Any idea at all? Would you like a bonus this year? It's another article belonging to Mr. McGilded. It could be an important clue. <sighs> um, you know, no, this is this is Iris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's um our Watson, <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of. Um, Mr. Herlock Sholmes is in the hospital right now because he was shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Susato? I love Susato. She's great. She's great. She's fantastic. She's gonna leave us. I love I love Susato. She's really great. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, um, yes, I suppose it'd be. Mm. Please stop looking at me mm. with those big turquoise eyes full of hope and expectation. It's too much pressure, I'll lose me marbles, I will, I'll go back and... I'm sure, I'm sure you did. I know, I know people get their names mixed up. I, I know you met Maya. I'm just like, boot like Mia would be Cosmo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, they fucking mia him, I'm so they mad. mad him. That's enough sauce from you, sunshine. What did I even say? <laughs> 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 this is no time for dog impressions, <laughs> Inspector. Because of the hounds one. thing. That's fucking funny. Mm -hmm. He's a girl who's leaving us for her ill father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. There's one thing that springs to mind. 
According to this ticket, the redemption deadline's already passed, hasn't it? Oh yes, of course. Articles only held for two months. So the small box will no longer be in here then. That's right, it's been forfeited. Which means it could be on the shelves in the front of the shop, where the forfeited items are offered for sale. Or it could have been sold to somebody. Exactly. Yes, the shelves in the front. We must search them at once. Ugh. You're wasting your time. Oh? There are dozens of little boxes out there, hundreds even. You can't possibly know which one might have been McGilded's. That information's not written in the ledger. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Well, I think we should at least have a look, just in case. Might say, you know, M. McG under the bottom of it. Right. Of course, your ladyship, of course. Very sensible of you, I'm sure. This is getting old. Wow, he's feeling sassy today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, oh god, okay, uh, the main shop. Shelf? Shall we shelf? Yes, this is where all the items that have been forfeited by the original owners are offered for sale. We did already look at a lot in that horse statue. Oh, man, you should have, you should have been here earlier when they were crossing their eyes at us. Yes, <laughs> that was some good stuff. That's right, they've all got little price labels on them, but there are so many. I wonder if the small box's ticket was for is still on the shelf somewhere. The box that McGilda deposited here over two, just over two months ago. That is exactly what we were Where's just the talking button? about. Where's the dog button? Even if it were, finding it promises to be very troublesome indeed. There are so many boxes. It could be any one of them. Mr. Sholm says... That a pawnbroker was the safest place to store anything. More secure than a bank's vault. Phoenix, does it... This is this is the great ace attorney. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. This is Ryanosuke Narahodo. This is his his ancestor. Mm -hmm. This is the fucking... This the is ancestral the line. fucking early 1900s. Phoenix has not been born. He is not mm -hmm. a twinkle in his father's eye. He is not a twinkle in his grandfather's eye. And his great-grandfather is probably Ryanosuke. Who is gay? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> when you try to cross your eyes, they start vibrating. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. So perhaps this is a small box of Mr. McGilda's is something of really great value. Well, if that's the case, he'd probably have kept it locked. <laughs> uh, so then we need to find every box with a locking. With a locket, break them all open. Hiya! Sisato! Break you stop, open! Stop! Don't throw me! That sort of misconduct would get you arrested. I won't let that happen. Also, I needed to take you down one more time before I have to get on a ship and get out of here. Oh, I guess. Ah, oh, this takes me back. It's been some time since Sisato san mm -hmm. last threw me. <laughs> you know, I think the last time was on the boat. Yeah, it's been a while. Was, it, was it on the boat last time? Mate, could be. Mm -hmm. Was it? Did she? Did she throw him one time after the end of the, the Nagilda the Natsume case or something? Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like there was a little. She may. In there. She may have thrown us once. <laughs> yeah, she throws it us. A -toss. It's just something Susato does. It's We're, been. It's still been over two months since she last threw us. He's shook. Okay, so we can't actually. We can't actually anything. Boxes. Anything we can. Boxes. 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 Really? 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 You're not gonna let us look at the box? Are you fucking serious, my dude? Eh? Okay, okay. But the box. Wait, go back to the right. I looked to the right. There's nothing there. There's not the little boxes. I looked. Seriously. I checked. What about the? What about that box again? This box. No. It's not. It's not. I promise. I promise. All right. Um, maybe present this to Iris and be like, "Hey, maybe we should look for the fucking box." No. No. Oh. Okay. Actually, can you do the history for a second? Yeah. 
That was actually amusing, amusing exchange. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, it's really, like, this is literal because um, the way that you present a gift to someone in proper Japanese, this is a tsumarenai mono desu ka, which means this is a boring thing, but that's, like, the proper way to present a gift. Oh, that's cute. <sighs> Uh, what do we do? We can't look at the boxes. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Get it, man. Can we go back and talk to Gregson again? Sir? Yeah. All right, what if I present him with this one? Yeah. No, he's he's being generic. Uh, I don't want to watch you fucking drink your tea. Sorry. All right. Well, I'm not showing him the portfolio. This one's green. Pop. His name is Pop. Pop. Oh. Oh. Poor Mr. Lobster Bank. All right, can we can we see Mr. Sholmes now? Sholmes? Uh. No. Can we go to prison? No. Baker Street? Oh my God! Come on! Wow. What am I supposed to be doing, my dude? Am I supposed to be looking in here for little boxes? It's not- it wouldn't be a thing, right? It's not- <sighs> Oh my god, if I- if I- if I'm doing this, I'm gonna have to look it up. This is ridiculous! I don't want you looking it up. Yeah, but if I'm- I'm not gonna stay here for two hours. I know, but, um... What are we- what are we missing? We've been back everywhere? Where are the other places we can go? Back to the fuck- okay. like, back to the legal consultancy. There's- there's no point in doing that. Yeah, I just <laughs> went home. Thanks. Yep. Just okay. gonna go back home. There's a Sholmes of Sweet. Yeah, I- I know, I Go know. back home. Nothing there. I did- I inspected everything, my dude! Mm -hmm. Don't tell me to inspect things! Nothing at the prison, nothing at the hospital. We could go back to Lord Chief Justice's office, but it's probably not going to be a reason to be there. Nope. Nothing there. Cool. <sighs> like, literally, okay. Like, I, I inspected everything. All the, you see the check mark next to the, to the reticules? It means I've inspected it already. Everything that can be inspected, I have inspected to the fullest detail. There is nothing else I can expect. So, I'm going to look it up. Can you do that in a safe way? I can, I've, I've done this in a safe way lots of times. Okay. Is that great? Okay. Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're gonna figure out what the fuck we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I just, I don't want to sit here wandering around for a while. So, I, I, I don't, I don't want to sit here and do this, so we are on the... What? Careful. Wah. Fish and chips. What? Oh, okay. It's called something different? Why is it- why is it called something different in this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow. 
Okay, Lord Chief Justice's office, then you go to the prison, then it's part four. Ma. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Okay, we missed something stupid that I never would have thought of. Cool. Cool beans. Oh boy. Watch this. Okay. Oh, it's, it's not that one. It's the other one. No? What? What? Hold on. Something else to just show her? Oh! Oh, okay. No, it's something else. I'm I'm a bad person, and I didn't actually examine it correctly. Oh, sorry, Iris. I keep <laughs> showing you this. Right. So I needed to ex I needed to rotate my evidence. Oh, we didn't. Oh, I keep I keep trying oh, to fucking present her. I'm so sorry, Iris. You silly Japanese man, showing me so many boring things. I I am trying to examine it. I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I didn't examine the didn't, fucking blood we didn't stain. Oh, um, frick, really? Ugh. No, so, Naruto san, now that we've gone back home, hung out in the chaise, gone back by Lord Strongheart's place, popped by the prison, checked to see if Hurley's still in surgery. Okay, but dude, you were, you, were not, <laughs> you were not specific, so I have a feeling you didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but there's something rather troubling here. Yeah, man, we've just been everywhere this today, and we've had a nice walk around the street. A nice stroll. Yeah, we we haven't been to the hospital a few times. Nothing more important to do. <laughs> I have noticed. I have noticed. The red smear, you mean? Yeah, it looks like blood, doesn't it? Oh! Gotta spray the gun on it. Do we gotta spray the gun gotta on spray it? spray the gun on it. I wondered if Susato-san picked up on that. She did, like, hours Well, ago. in that case... Yes, we need Iris. We should show this to her before we forget. You know? Yes, like, immediately, because you're about to forget it, literally, right now. Okay, now... Hey, we'll Iris! Do you want to look, at, you wanna look at this bloody fucking... Is it gonna make you laugh? That looks like blood! I would say it's from a gloved finger. Almost certainly a glove made of leather. Way. Why? Why would you say that? But don't worry, Bruno. You can leave the rest to me. <laughs> Thanks. He's still like holding it in his hand. Yeah. It's purple. It's purple. Look at that. Yes, that's a color we haven't seen before, isn't it? We simply must add it to the portfolio of blood samples. It could be an important clue. It's really the only important clue we've been able to find after wandering around the entirety of London. But it would be nice to find out whose blood these different colors correspond to at some point. <laughs> yep, nobody saw the blood. No one I saw mean, it. I saw it. I just didn't we think... We saw it. We just didn't know what we had to I, do to uh, see it. Apparently, Ryanosuke didn't fucking see it. Mm -hmm. Well, this particular stain of blood... Oh, you've had an idea, haven't you? I can see those two brain cells rubbing together. Do you know whose blood this is? I think I do. Yeah, I have an idea of whose blood it is. Not from the color it turned, but with a little deduction. You know how much you like deduction. That's right. I think it's clear. Iris, you know as well? You first, Bruno. Who do you think it belongs to? Alright, I believe that this is the blood of... this guy. Yeah, we can go to court. I mean, not right now, obviously. We're mm -hmm. still... We're still investigating. Mm -hmm. Thrice fired Mason. It's it's basically the same. You don't sound very sure of yourself the way you trailed off there. Although the second case, you didn't go to court at all. It's it's a it's a really 
That's weird. It's a, yeah. If you liked the Ace Attorney games, you're gonna like this game. It's really good. Well, it was two months ago, now, that case. And of course, I've never met the victim, so I'm struggling to remember his name. He was definitely thrice fired, though. The victim of the omnibus case? Yes, his name was indeed Mr. Thrice Fired Mason. That would mean that this bloodstain was left on the ticket two months ago. That's right. Yep. Also, we have more evidence now than we had we basically. Have so much evidence. We have more evidence now than we than we had the last time we went into fucking into court. Fancy what happens when you get to investigate a crime scene. Yeah, like when you actually get to investigate the crime scene and you don't just look at it and go, I'm not going over there. I'm going to go into his house and then talk to his landlord. <laughs> and meet his cat. Yeah, and meet his cat and then steal his cat. Mm. And then solve a marital dispute. <laughs> and then I'll go to court <laughs> with no evidence. Mm. And then so Van Zeeks can throw the fucking evidence around like an idiot. And like decide not to, not to present the evidence until halfway through the court case. Uh, two month bullet is anything but is anything but red. That's true. I mean, yeah, I think it was. Tina brought this ticket here to Windebanks yesterday. I'm suggesting that the blood stain was already on that, on it at the time. So it's a smear of blood from the time that Mister Mason was t killed two months ago. Something else is coming back to me now. Mister McGilded was also wearing leather gloves that night. Dun dun dun. Oh boy. Now I ask you, what good hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fella bleeding from his stomach? I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. <sighs> Certainly does look like leather glove thumbprint, this mark. But. We know that Mr. McGilded had no injuries at the time, anywhere on his body. From which we conclude that any blood on the glove belonged to the victim, Mr. Mason. Mr. Nadahodo, look at you! Having deductions, using those brain cells. You sound just like Mr. Sholmes. Wow! wow. It, she's calling me smart! <laughs> Minus the quirky slip-ups, I suppose. I, I like how that's an orange. That's like, it's cute. importance. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Also, nude, if you, yeah, between, between the two, the, uh, the two of these protagonists, Phoenix Wright was kind of dumb sometimes, but Ryanosuke Naruhodo is so stupid sometimes. He's very <laughs> So dumb. stupid. Thank you, Tisha, for the drink. How? He is very, very dumb. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Runo. Very well. Let's make a note of this in our blood portfolio. Hell or yeah. Just update the court record. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Yay! Cool. Now we actually investigate it. Yeah, can we go to the hospital now? What? Dong. Oh, God. <laughs> it's murder o'clock. <laughs> ah! you, you did summon tea. Yes. <laughs> I nearly jumped out of my skin there. How could Mr. Lobster make such a, such, such a wicked trap? I doubt he set out to scare anyone. Why would he keep winding those clocks? Wouldn't he just let them run out? <laughs> Is that really the time? I think perhaps we should pay Gina another visit soon. How about Hurley? Oh. Her trial is tomorrow. We must establish whether or not you will be defending her. What? Huh? Well, she she signed the papers, and she, she signed the papers, so we could investigate the crime scene. And then but, he's like, "Well, you could you could rip them up oh, later if you I, want, I like okay. if you actually don't want us to." I get it, but I get like, it. I yeah. want to investigate because uh, because you know yeah. her lock was shot. Point. I think we should ask her one more time. She may have changed her mind. Don't you remember Runo? You told her she could rip up the representation papers if she didn't want you to be her lawyer. Really? Did I say that? <laughs> oh, man. He has- he really has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I love it. Did I say that? Yes, you did. 
<sighs> the deadline for submitting the paperwork is fast approaching. In that case, we'd better hurry back to the prison and talk to Gina again. Oh, off we go to the prison. Off we go to the prison. I, I mean, we wouldn't have been so pressed for time if we hadn't take such a, taken such a stroll around. Yep. Wander around Baker Street, roam down the way, went to the bookstore. Oh boy. Ah, Gina, good, you're back. Infinity. Oh. <laughs> when when Joe was spilling this stuff all over Garrett up. That's right. True. The police must have finished questioning her then. Oh, how was it, Ginny? Was it awful? Eh? Oh, didn't bother me. Thank you for the papers you signed before. It meant we were able to investigate at Windebanks. Oh, right. Don't you want to know how we got on? We've been ever so busy. Mm. What's the point asking? Won't change what everyone's saying. I did it. That's not... Gina, we came to ask for your final decision. What decision? About tomorrow's trial. Will you let me defend you or not? Mm. Mm. I must submit the paperwork now if you'd like Mr. Narahodo to represent you. Right, I see. She's really lost her fight all of a sudden. But I know what that feels like. The worry is just so hard to bear. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we looked at the cat we looked at the cats, cross eyed and regular, and then we turned the cat around and found our blood and <laughs> oh we looked at lobster outlines and made shellfish puns. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, so that's how we that's how it happens. All in a day's work. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't solve a marital dispute this time, so honestly it's just kind of a step down. <laughs> Maybe I have a future marriage counseling. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Climby, give it a rest with them eyes, Iris. So come on, then. Fill us in. We've done it. Unfortunately, we don't know that yet. You don't say! <laughs> we don't know yet, Gina. But Mr. Nadahodo and all of us Know that you are innocent of this crime. 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 Oh yeah, we did use magic power to recolor blood. Oh, yeah, that too. That's the thing we did. And while we haven't managed to work out who the real culprit is, there are a number of interesting facts we have managed to establish. Yeah, like what? Well, for example, the reason for you being here in the first place. I think I know why you broke into Windabanks last night. Looks like I'm going to have to take some evidence that clearly reveals the reason and thrust it in Gina's face and make her choke on it. Yes! <laughs> Good. Thrust that evidence in her face. God damn Just it. Thrust it. <laughs> okay. You're thinking about thrusting a lot, aren't you? <laughs> or I could present it to her calmly, I suppose. <laughs> no, we're thrusting. We're thrusting. Take that! <laughs> mm -hmm. We found this in Mr. Windebank's storeroom. The manuscript of Iris's latest story. Ah! Oh, right. Well, that's good then. Curiously, the storeroom at Windebank's showed no sign of being ransacked for the items of value or the like. With one exception. The box file that housed this manuscript. It was you, wasn't it, Gina? Who broke the shot? The, who broke the box? Uh, who broke? Who, 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 who broke open the box containing this manuscript last night? Eh. You were determined to find out whether or not the Hound of the Baskervilles was really there. That's the real reason you broke into the storm last night, wasn't it? 
Her locks break open. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what happened? Please. Mm -hmm. Pretty please. On a guy. We're not going to talk about that yet, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> we already have the representation papers and other documents we need. And all we have to do is hand them into the court clerk. That is, if you'll allow me to represent you in court tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Nah. Don't bother. Tinny, rip them up and chuck them, would you? Them representation papers or whatever they're called. This cell ain't fancy enough to have a bin. So, what will you do in court tomorrow? You won't have a court case. You'll fucking not be represented, and you'll hang. You'll be killed by the Reaper of the Bailey. Fine, my own. No, you won't. I don't think you will be. Look, it doesn't matter. What gonna happen is gonna happen. That's not... That's not... This is one f stubborn pickpocket. Fucking hell. Alright, yeah. It's Baskerville story. It's the latest show on this adventure, right? We ain't been pretty yet. So I figured it's got to be worth a fair few pieces of silver, right? You bitch. That's not, that's not why nope, you did that's it. that's not why you did it. You wanted to know if Iris was lied to. Um, huh? Because you have parent issues. Oh, yes, at least 5,000 pounds. What? So you intended to sell Iris's manuscript, did you? No, Ginny, how could you? What? Wait! No, uh, hang on. Uh, of course I won't go to sell it. All I want to do is find out if the metal script, or whatever you call it, really was there or not. That's the only reason I was in there in the first place. For Iris' sake. Isn't that right? <laughs> you pretty pleased with the church shop, but Lisa will be trying to prevent you from being hanged. <laughs> exactly! Yeah, seriously. Uh, we knew why you'd done it from the start, you know. Of course we did. Well, I knew you wouldn't do anything mean like that, Ginny. I just knew it, except I totally doubted you for a moment and wanted you hung. Uh. When I saw the manuscript in the storeroom, it reminded me of what you said the night before. Flashback! Unnecessary flashback! <laughs> We're gonna see this the third time! Grown ups do a lot worse than that, believe me. Bare faced liars, a lot of them. You just ain't realize it yet. Oh. Telling you, that metal script ain't a wind base. You soon see if you had a look. If I'm honest. I have wondered if Hurley's telling me the truth sometimes. I mean that I sometimes wonder if he might have hidden my manuscript somewhere. Somewhere I don't know. Even though it's wrong of me to doubt him. Oh, Ginny, that was so sweet of you. Little creepy too, but... All right, all right. Tell you why I did it. Just stop looking at me like that, Iris. All right. Well, let's hear it. Well, because of Iris, it's not why I did it. I just wanted to know the truth, that's all. You wanted to know if Mr. Sholmes was being honest. If he'd really deposited the manuscript at Windebanks. It's like I told you the night before. Flashback! <laughs> I never had a father. But Iris's lot ain't like mine. She's got her dad. Only she can't see him. I reckon that's gotta be harder. <gasps> that's why she writes her stories. They're about her dad, really. Aww. Aww. That's what it sounded like to me, anyway. Last night when I was listening to what you were saying. Stories about daddy? Oh. You mean they're not the adventures of a great detective so much as the adventures of a great detective and his trusty partner? <laughs> partner. <laughs> the partner. Oh. Well, that's how I see it, yeah. Oh. 
You're so thoughtful and so kind, Tinny. Little creepy. Yes, the thoughtful part. And we never thought any differently, did we? We never thought any differently. Look, give it a rest, will ya? I ate all this chummy nonsense, dear. I ate it. Nom. <laughs> I don't trust no one, right? That's how I work. Because if you don't trust no one, no one can let you down. Leave me alone. Go on, Scarper. Leave me to my baggage. <sighs> I hadn't noticed until now, but it's unmistakable. Right there on both sleeves of that overcoat. Whoa. Mm. Whoa! Are you deducing something? You're deducing mm. something. Oh, a smarty boy. Mm. Hmm. There are some very suspicious red stains. Use that luminal gun. What? Why you look at me like that? I think it might be worth presenting some of our other findings to that area to Gina now. Mm-hmm. Is that the friggin' gun? The gun? We don't have the gun. <laughs> I know. I just want Iris to present the gun. Yep. This one? Uh, the, the portfolio. Maybe? Yeah. The stains of the sleeves of your new coat, Gina. They're blood, aren't they? Your brain cells, okay, you've been using them so much, I'm worried you strain yeah. them. <laughs> exactly. Yep. <laughs> and take care of you. Take it slow. It. Hey, Riddles, it's fine. It's fine. He just realized he has eyeballs, so now he's like, oh, God, I gotta use them. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What? Blood, Mr. Nadahodo? You don't appear to have any obvious wounds yourself, though. So it could be blood that's spattered when, from Mr. Windebank was shot last night? Let's not beat around the bush here. Time to use my gun! This trusty friend of mine will get results much faster than anything else. Ha 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 ha. Eh? To take it easy, Iris? Ah! Don't move, Jenny! I'm going to shoot! Okay. <gasps> oh! Whoa! <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! That's all. That's all Mason's blood. Holy shit! Oh my! What the? Forget the sleeves. The whole coat is covered in blood. Of course. The black color of the fabric is mas masking the stains. We have just haven't seen them until now. And the blood has reacted with the chemical to turn a purple color. Which matches one of the samples we've already collected perfectly. Yes, now let's see. Who had the purple blood? <sighs> Aha, yes, it was the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, the victim of the murder case two months ago. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I knew it. What, what are you all on about? The victim? What, what do you mean? Hmm. It's a rather uncomfortable situation, Mr. Narahodo, but I think this makes things quite clear. It means the omnibus case is... Finally solved. Yep. The truth about who really murdered the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, is revealed. Oh, hey, will someone explain what's going on? T stop telling out the story. Me were there. <laughs> yeah, you, you actually were pretty much more there than we were. Exactly. I'm pretty sure you knew what happened more than we did. Oh, was oh were you just going to talk to Sasato? Sure. Okay. We can see now that the victim's blood is all over Mr. McGilded's coat. And in the trial two months ago, the defendant said this in his testimony. <laughs> now I ask you, is what good-hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fella bleeding from his stomach? I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. But if you look at this overcoat now, it's clear. Stains couldn't have arisen from Mr. McGilded trying to pull the victim to his feet. No. If that was what had really happened, 
the blood wouldn't have splashed all over the front of the coat. The only explanation for this pattern of blood is that it splattered over Mr. McGilded when he stabbed the victim in the stomach. I've tried to run from the truth for long enough. But there's no escaping it now. The true culprit in that case, Mr. Mason's killer, da -da -da. was Magnus McGilded. Mr. Narahodo. That horrible case is solved at last. And I... I helped the man walk free from that trial. Well, he wasn't free for long. I used all that twisted testimony and that sham evidence to prove his innocence. How could I have let that trial happen? Bruno, did you believe him, though? Did you believe Mr. McGilded was innocent? I believed... Rather, I think I was trying to believe. I wanted to. Because believing in those you represent in court is a defense lawyer's greatest weapon. That's what he said. Mm. A weapon. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, it's getting heavy in here. Before we came to break <gasps> Great <laughs> Before we came to Great Britain, a great friend of mine taught me a valuable lesson. You mean, Kazuma-sama. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Listen, Nirkun. Oh god, it's been so long! Oh, <laughs> since we've seen your beautiful friends! He's a handsome man! This is a worthwhile flashback. Keep the flashback going! Riddles, riddles, riddles. He doesn't need a gun. He doesn't no, need a gun. He's, he's got a sword. He's got a katana. It's my soul. <laughs> We lawyers are only human. We can't know for sure what is the truth and what is a lie. Which is why we must resort to our primary weapon. An unwavering belief in our clients. That's all we really have. Unwavering belief. Oh, like I have in you. God, he's my so dear. handsome. Oh, God, he's so yeah. handsome. Just, oh my God. Only when we truly believe what our clients tell us can we fight with everything we have for their cause. In any battle, there can be no victory without faith. So I believe you, unwaveringly. Cosmo! <laughs> You two are shacking up. Uh, oh, you, oh! If you're oh, if you're looking at for Edgeworth look look, look you'll, you'll, you'll 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 get that. It's coming. You'll get a kick out of Lord Van Zeeks, I'm sure. <laughs> What's funny, Gina? My boyfriend died. <laughs> cool. Sounds like this Empire of Japan you come from. Everyone must be soft. Soft boys. Excuse me. <laughs> You fucking racist? Hello? <laughs> oh, come on. Look at the mess has got you into believing that bog trotter. Yes, I inadvertently helped a murderer walk free. Huh. Well, at least you've learnt your lesson now, eh? Believing in people's never worth it. Someone always stabbed you in the back in the end. Soon you let down your god at it. Take a leaf out of my book. Believe no one. Get hurt by no one. What a sad existence. Gina, may I ask you something? 
Yeah, I don't think we'll For see no Van Zeeks today. I don't think we're going to get there. I mean, you can see Van Zeeks today if you check out the highlights. Yeah. Or uh, and the um, the clips that I did. I clips. clipped so many things. I, I clicked. I, I definitely clipped when he uh, when he threw his little footsie up. Oh yeah. On the oh. yeah. Bam. What? I'd just like to make absolutely sure. What would you like us to do with these representation papers for tomorrow's trial? Mm. <sighs> We're playing fucking Cosmos theme in the background, and it makes me so fucking sad. How many times do I have to say it? Rip them up and chuck them away. Are you really sure that's what you want? That that's what he wants all and all now, Mr. I'm a believer lawyer over there. Don't forget it was me in that trial two months ago. I let everyone up the garden path, didn't I? You're telling me you can believe in me after that? Not likely. Hmm. Well, Mr. Nadahudo. <sighs> A lawyer's primary weapon is an unwavering belief in his clients. Ultimately, it comes down to whether or not I can feel like I can trust you now after everything that's happened. Ooh. And look, you want to go through it back all Van Zeke's yeats and rank them by what he said before and yes. after the yeet. <laughs> yeah, like kind of like make a make mm -hmm. a make a Van Zeke's yeet tier list. But we gotta wait until after after yeet. you know. Forgive after, the discourtesy. Forgive the discourtesy. <laughs> after after all of the all of the trials, we gotta wait. We can make Basel a twelve. Yeah, we could we could make a, a Van Zeke's yeet tier list after that. Van Zeke's highlight reel. <laughs> I trust her. I can't trust. her. Can't trust her. <laughs> Game no. over. No, I, this is a serious moment. I will meme. Take it. down. I will. I will. I will meme on on Herlock all day long, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna meme on her. Gina, let me say it again. You're a bitch. <laughs> also. But I trust you. <laughs> Please allow me to re represent you in tomorrow's trial. You have bait. Uh, no, I, I don't even know how to get weed. <laughs> Not at all. Once you've admitted to committing... Uh, sorry. Once, <laughs> Once you've admitted to committing the crime. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Little specials too after we finish the game. Yes. I would have to put together the, the actual yeets, so we could we could maybe we could we could do a little something something. We'll see. Not at all. Uh, you've not once committed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not at all. You've not once admitted to committing the crime, have you? Say that three times fast. Now. Right? God, admitted to committing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. What's more. I believe that you're telling me the truth. Seriously, um, Mr. Nardo, narrow, narrow, narrow auto, <laughs> narrow, narrow auto, Mr. Narrow auto, Mr. Uh, Naruto, Naruto. <laughs> uh, believe it. <laughs> Didn't you hear all what I said before? I'm a born liar. Fibs just trip off me tongue and I'm a diver, don't forget. Pulled the wool over your eyes two months ago and I got you into all sorts of trouble. How would you ever trust me now? I just don't get it. <laughs> Not a homosexual. Not a homosexual. Yes! yes! How has it taken this long to yeah. get that obvious joke? <laughs> Not a homo. <laughs> Not a homo. Not a homo. Mr. Not a homo. <laughs> That's the new ship name for Aso Naru. <laughs> Not a homo. That's just that's just every ship that this, that Naru, Naru yeah. Hono is in. <laughs> we, I mean, we've shipped him with 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 Kazuma. We've uh -huh. shipped him with Herlock. We've shipped, shipped him with Ben Zeeks. He's just a big Naru homo. <laughs> He's a big Naru homo. Gina, uh, exclamation mark! I do understand why you chose not to put your trust in others. But I assure you, there is more to this life than you yet realize. What you mean? The world we live in... 
is full of people you would do very well to trust. People who won't ever let you down. Like Kazuma-sama. Yeah. <laughs> what a sweetheart. <laughs> eh? It's true that I'm just a student of the law, and I'm certainly lacking in courtroom experience. And honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, and I probably don't have any more than two brain cells at that. <laughs> but you should totally rely on me. But I can promise you this. I'm gay. Uh, and the second thing is, whatever happens, and until my very last breath, Whoa. I am completely on your side. I would die for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you expect me to say to that? Oh, this is crying. You poor girl. made him cry. Then it's decided. I will take these papers now and carry out the necessary preparations for tomorrow's trial. And then I'm gonna get in a ship and I'll I'll be leaving all you suckers to deal with this alone. Yep, and you're going home. We'd be ashamed to throw them away now after it's been penned with your name so beautifully. Do what you like. You Eastern lot are. <laughs> I don't know what you are. I don't get you. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks Gee. for not being racist for a second there. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's exactly what she is. Um, hum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tina's taken herself off the back of her cell. Uh, she's taken her off to the back of her cell. God, God damn it. Reading. She'd never admit it, but I hope she's feeling relieved. Uh, this is a good time to say that I am actually dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> That turned out all right in the end, I think. Cosma. Cosma. You know that's Cosma thoughts right no, now. So he's having the serious Cosma thoughts. Ha! <laughs> Whoever's hiding there. Huh? Show yourself at once. Eavesdropping is the height of cowardice. Is it gonna be her luck? It, if it, I want it to be her luck, her luck or Van Zeeks. Van Zeeks, that would be amazing. That would be incredible. Mr. Sato. Somebody is there in the shadows. I can sense it. Somebody who wasn't there before. It's her lock. What? It's not somebody's lock. Well, who? Oh, it's Gregson! Gregson? What the fuck are you doing? I was hoping for a hot God man! Damn it. God damn it! What the fuck? Uh, Hi. Suppose you were using one of those Japanese mis- or use those mystic Japanese arts like the art of stealth I've heard so much about. I am a ninja now. If anyone was being stealthy, it was you, Inspector. <sighs> uh, Uncle Craigsy, how disappointing. Oh dear, Mayor, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Ladyship. I didn't mean to startle you. How long have you been listening in our conversation? Did you find out about his dead boyfriend? Good grief, listening in. No, no, no. Uh, I just got word there were some visitors who were refusing to leave, even though it was after hours. I assure you, your ladyship, I only just arrived this very minute, not a moment earlier. <laughs> That's all it is. Nothing on tour, nothing at all. After hours? Is that late already? I mean, you did stroll around for a while, <laughs> and went to the hospital, went back home, <laughs> took a nap. Wasn't really sure what you were up to, but... Yeah, it was kind of strange. And then you had presented with me... Just something, and then you walked right back out again, and then you walked around a bit, and then you came back, and then you, <laughs> you, you shot some thing on the blood, and I, I really don't know what you were doing. Uh, so then I'll humbly excuse myself now, your ladyship. Uh, Ta-ta, toodaloo, cheerio, and all the best. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> you know that sync song. <laughs> Man, I really hope I had that disc. I, I thought it was... <laughs> it's a lot of farewells, and not one of them appropriate for her ladyship. Oh, but I wanted to have a chat about your salary. Uh -huh. I'm terribly sorry, but time is pressing at the minute. I've got this other case that's going to be entangled with this case to go investigate. Obviously. That's a shame. If I don't get this emergency at <gasps> the Supreme Court dealt with. <gasps> Sharp Sharpish, Lord Strongheart will, well. Emergency? Also Supreme Court? L Lord Strongheart? Nothing, forget I said anything. Anyway, I'm, I'm off. All right, Uncle Gracie, if you have to, but let's chat soon about your paychecks. Delighted, Charmed. Can't wait, if you please, my pleasure. Mm. That's a lot of pleasantries, and not one of them sounded sincere. Or pleasant. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, we wanted to be Van Zeeks in the shadows. Craig's is so funny. He says such silly things like the Supreme Court. Certainly is entertaining to see an inspector of the police fawning over fawning to a ten year old girl. But anyway, I wonder what this emergency is at the Supreme Court. Let's go check it out. Let's go find out. I must attend the court clerk's office now before it closes. Yes, of course. Thank you, Suzatasan. What am I going to do without you? Well, really, like honestly. Le- legitimately, me. I don't know how to fill out any of this paperwork. Please help me. Kindly escort Iris home now, Mr. Narodo. I shall meet you there later. But no. But but, but, but the hospital. The hospital. The no. emergency. There's a lot of shit going on. Harley. No. 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 I want to go to the No, I want to see Herlock. Harley. And so our investigation came to an end. So Dr. San went to file the necessary papers for my defense of Gina the following day. And then it hit me. I'm a real lawyer now. I could no longer suppress the wretched feeling I had been that had been gnawing on my insides. I'm gay. For Hurley. Tomorrow, <laughs> Susato-san would be leaving. Leaving Britain and making her way back to Japan. Don't go, Susato. Oh, Susato. No! We're gonna be Don't. all alone! Oh, no, no. No! No. Not Hodo-san. <laughs> it's been a very trying day, hasn't it? I do hope you're not too exhausted. What about you, Susato-san? Today's been even more trying for you, I'm sure. <sighs> Mr. Shum was shot before our eyes, Gina was arrested, and all on the back of the news that her father has fallen ill and she must return to Japan at once. I hope your father recovers soon. Thank you for your kind words. Please don't go. Mm, it's just hard to stay. Please don't go. Please don't leave. Please, I, I don't know how to fill out any paperwork. I'm too stupid for this. I don't know how to raise a child on my own. <laughs> I wonder why it is that so many thoughts rage in my head like a storm. Whoa. Sisato. And yet, I seem unable to find the words to express any of them. I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, I have one final task to complete as your judicial assistant. Don't leave me? Okay. Once that is done, I shall make preparations for my departure tomorrow. Okay, so your final task is going to be count to infinity. One final task. It's not throw me to the ground, is it? (laughs) Oh, boy. Uh, uh. Oh, (laughs) Susato! Susato! It's just two months since we arrived in London. It's going to be two months on the way back. You've literally spent more time in a boat than you have in London. (laughs) But we've managed to establish this office. It was finally feeling as though we were settling in. I would be lying if I said I felt no regret. I'm so sorry, Susato-san. It's just so sudden. I really don't know what to think. I've had no time to gather my thoughts. And I'm just going to be sitting on a boat for two months, just gathering them. I know we've only been here a short time, but... I can't get by without you. In my limited experience at the courtroom, I feel I've learned something. That I can't get by without you? It sucks. Man, this fucking sucks. And what would that be? Law sucks. I don't know why Cosmo went into it. (laughs) It seems to me that there are many facets to people's personalities. Facets? And like a jewel, the light plays off them in complex patterns, illuminating their actions and their (gasps) motives. My phone just died. No. How I get? I want to keep taking the picture. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well. Okay. 
But we see only a small number of those facets. And what's illuminated is only part of the whole story. Hmm. What lies in the shadows? What do those facets we cannot see look like? Perhaps there are some parts we'll never lay eyes on for as long as we live. Whoa. Are you worried about... About... Cosimo? That's so true. Sometimes I feel I feel as though I'm blind to so much. But I keep hoping that one day it will all become clear. You can. That all the facets will be illuminated and I'll finally understand how everything fits together. And all those brain cells working. Yeah, uh, so one day I kind of hope that mm. I'll understand things. Not a hold of sound. Sweetie, you're too dumb for that. Mm -hmm. I suppose what matters is that we keep our eyes open and keep moving forward, even if the way sometimes seems dark. No, you did the history. I miss the first. I suppose what matters. <laughs> it's amazing to think it's been just two months. You've grown so oh. much. <laughs> What? Oh. oh no, it was nothing unimportant. No. no. Do you know what time you'll leave for London in the morning? Yes, I picked up my ticket earlier. I shall be leaving here at Jesus Christ! For the fuck o'clock, okay? So I'm gonna need my beauty rest. Why? Ah. Uh, I see. Uh, well, I'll escort you to the station. Don't don't get accused of murder on the way, please. Absolutely not. Sorry. I'm sure you realize why I couldn't possibly let you do that. You have a very important day ahead of you tomorrow. You need your beauty rest. Tina's trial. I don't need to look beautiful in court. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I do I anyway. know, but every word you utter will have the potential to determine Gina's fate. Jesus Christ, no pressure or anything. No Thanks. pressure. You must get as much rest as possible. Even though, like me, I'm sure you will find it hard to sleep. But please, for me, do try. Oh, I mean, yeah, the dude I've been banging is in the hospital right now. One final task. Um, you mentioned one final task a moment ago. What did you mean? Oh, I nearly forgot. Please. I want you to have this. What is that? Some huge bundle of documents? It's my notes from the case two months ago. Ooh. Take my case files. The murder that was committed on the omnibus. God, what would I do without you? Oh, she out. takes notes. Oh, good. So good. This is so good. This is gonna be like. Mm. This is gonna be like in Yuri on Ice when, when Victor went back to to Japan, mm. and Yuri had to skate on his own in Russia. Yeah, exactly. That that's exactly the the leg of the the mm -hmm. arc that Yukun's on right now. Right. God. You gotta stand on your own two feet. <sighs> to be killed in case. Seems to me that this case of Mr. Windebank's murder, of which Gina is accused, is very much tied up with that omnibus case, in ways that are not yet completely apparent, I am foreshadowing. So I took the liberty of consolidating my writings about the case for you. You're, you're too good for us, Susato. You're so great. God, Susato. God, you're so, like... I know, oh. I know, it's, I know, you know, Noodles called called her a discount Maya earlier no. today, but honestly, like... Maya's a discount Susato. Honestly, fucking yeah. Like, Susato is just... She's baller. Look. She's precious. She's, she's a treasure. Best girl. Best mm. girl. Mm. Susato, of all of the assistants that have ever been in an AC Tourney game... Ever. Ever in, in the entire universe, Susato is the most useful... And one of the best under K Faraday. 
Or not, mm-hmm. or, or, or Kay Faraday's just under her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, is her and Kay. And, the, yes, and those her, are the two best Kay. in the yep, entire totally. franchise. Maya's really close second to Kay, but it's her and Kay. Her mm-hmm. and Kay are the best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. We're, we're, what are we going to do? She carries like 90% of our I, shared brain I work. I know. Exactly! Like, like he already he already lost like 90 he already pr- lost 90% of his brain cells when yeah. Kazuma died. Exactly. Suzato is S tier assistant like, exactly. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to make it without her. He's going to have Iris next to him in court. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Like he's already got had 90% of his brain cells knocked out and then Susato replaced them and now she's about mm-hmm. to walk away. She's going to take all his brain cells with her. And fucking Herlock is in the hospital. He's who in the has, hospital. He's going to be out for this whole case possibly. Who has brain cells but they work inconsistently. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, Herlock, well, he's still sleeping. Mm-hmm. We don't know when he'll wake up. Maybe sometime after you get a not guilty verdict, he might wake up. Right. With everything she's had to think about. Sasha-san still managed to do this, and all neatly laid out before me in her beautiful handwriting. Aww. It was my pleasure. Sasato, <laughs> don't leave us. Oh, I love you, Sasato. <laughs> <laughs> I can only hope that it will bolster your case tomorrow for Gina. Thank you so much, Sasato-san. I'll do my best to use it wisely. I'm going to present it every time they ask me to present evidence. <laughs> you really are the best judicial assistant in the world. And I'm not fucking lying. You really no, are the you best. You are. Le- legitimately. Top tier. Fucking, you really are the best judicial assistant in the world. Well, that's extremely flattering. And it's extremely and true. Totally accurate. But I'm sorry to say, I've been a complete failure. Susato? Susato, no! Why? Why are you no, so bad? Sweet no, sweet baby, no! no. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I didn't quite catch what you said there. Oh, ignore me. I was just mumbling to myself. No! No! No, we can't let you go like this! Run to her at the train station or the the ship station, the port. Run to her. No! 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 Susato! Susato, you can't leave like this. No! I don't want to press the button. No! 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 Okay, she's back. It's getting rather late. <laughs> God, it's, it's like the, the vine of the... It's like, oh, look, it's a bear. No! <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> I think you should go to bed now, Naruhoto-san. You're empty, Shiz. I must finish packing up my things in my room. Susato-san, I... Uh, Susato-san, please don't leave me. <laughs> I wish you the very best of luck tomorrow. Susato. Good night. No! No! <gasps> Wait! There's... There's something I need to say. No! no! <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> A secret technique of mine. The Susato shutdown. No more feelings. Shutdown? <sighs> Please, I implore you. Susato. If we have to voice our goodbyes. I won't be able to hold back my tears. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna sleep like this. <laughs> Susato san. Are you okay?
okay, baby? Are you actually crying? <laughs> I did a bit. <laughs> it truly had been a trying day. On our feet for hours. Getting Gina to open up to us. Learning the truth about that nemesis of a case. Physically and mentally, I was exhausted. And yet the idea of sleep seemed impossible. But I forced myself to close my eyes. And as a cacophony of scenes of our lives here in London played through my mind. Montage? Eventually, my fatigue triumphed and I fell into a deep sleep. Lucky. And I slept past the trial and I missed it. <laughs> Gina got executed and yeah, never sucked. saw Susato again. Yeah, God. A terrible time. I had lots of cosmic thoughts. Are we still going? Holy really? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. The small, small hours at the Woo! hospital! Hmm. Yes, I quite understand. That is a great weight off my mind. Maybe uh, that's Susato? Who knows? What? <gasps> Rest assured, I shall put everything in place exactly as we have discussed. Is that him or is it someone talking to him? I'm so confused right now. That's him. That's him. He was moving his mouth. Okay, I couldn't see. Thank you so much. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted. Oh, this is Susato, I'm sure. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Sholmes. On the contrary, the pleasure has been mine. I bid you farewell, and Godspeed. <sighs> My dear madam. How is your gunshot doing? <laughs> Are we storming tomorrow, baby? I think we might. I think we might. I think we might have to do that. 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 Hey guys, we're probably going to stream tomorrow. We're probably going to stream tomorrow. Which, we're probably going to stream in, in, in like, the, in, like, the noon times. We, we could, we could do that. We could. In, or, like, what? in the early afternoon, maybe? Yeah. Oh, right. I'm trying to use my phone. I know it's dead. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we could. We can stream earlier. What works in Germany? <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I was like, how it's, 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 it works for you all. Germany's oh works, but oh. yeah, we wanted, we wanted. God, it's, it's oh, so. Is, uh, Jesus Christ, guys! Yeah, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, uh, yes, let's, let's find someone to read, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, who's Stremen? Who is the Stremen? Uh, uh, she left him in Mr. Scholz's. Oh. Incapable hands. Oh god, we love how about Luena? We love Luena. Right? Uh, let's let's go say hi to her. Uh, let's go say hi. Let's uh, go say stream tomorrow, but at what cost exactly? Yes. Oh, oh boy. raid. I know how to spell raid. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Literally she just got raided too. <laughs> nice. Alright, we're gonna raid her again. He's having a good raid night. Yeah, great time for raids. So go say hi to Luana. Tell Luana how amazing this fucking game is. Thank you everyone for sticking with us. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Because this to. place is freaking crazy. This game is freaking crazy. It's crazy. And yeah, we gotta do a case tomorrow. Susato's going. Susato. Okay, so the past few cases were all Cosma. And now we're gonna be Susato. <laughs> All right, you get lots of rest riddles. You deserve Sleep it. Well. Thank you for sticking around this long. You're amazing, Wolf. If you're still here, you are also amazing. But you're probably asleep, so it's you're still amazing. Um. See ya. Bye. Bye.
Damn. Okay, here's something I'm upset about. Um, so a theme that we've seen is like your faith being shaken, right? And like the different facets of people that you might never know. Um, Charlie, you be in this drum chat for a bit? Can I hold my phone? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of talking okay. to her a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, I have to wait. Thank you. 